All right, music's done. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the village. I hope you're doing well. This is where, if you if you watch things on a hard leg raw, you would get you get the videos going there. Um, this is where things would start. We're no longer starting stu soon. We have begun. Perhaps a little earlier than usual. Those songs are kind of short, but whatever. People coming in. But, uh, yes, thank you, Slash Slash, for the $5. Although, I, I should be clear, because I, I feel like I say this sometimes. I used to talk a lot more, much more about this. Um, and I haven't lately, partially because uh, this, this philosophy of mine is almost at odds with my chosen career. Um, but I, I care nothing about aesthetics. Uh, aesthetics for the purposes of like my life and my living conditions mean zero to me. That's why like if I get a shiny card, I will break it down because I do not care about the shinies. If I turn off the green screen and like turn this camera around, uh, actually do I, uh, I can't get it. But if you, if you could see my house, like my bedroom has no, I, I have no like wallpaper. I have no paintings. I have no figures or anything. Like I just have blank walls. When I, when I first moved out, my room was like a, a mattress on the floor next to a computer. Please buy Toad. Yeah. The old, but, but yeah, the, the point I'm trying to make, right? Or I guess, yeah, the, the, like, what, if you see me out, out and about, I don't wear this kind of clothes normally. I wear, like, black shirts. I wear whatever I have left over from when I was in high school. Mostly just black or, like, gray. <laughs> I, I do not care about appearances at all. All of this is for your benefit. Like, the shirts, the hats... The, the mates, the sleeves, that's all so you guys have something interesting to look at. That's all to make the stream more entertaining. I'm very much a minimalist. I'm very much a believer that art is art and people are people and trying to combine too much causes problems. When people start thinking about like their own style and their own aesthetic, they start making themselves into art pieces that represent things instead of just being their genuine selves. When you when you put too much effort into designing your room instead of just having a cool inner mind, I feel like you, you fall into this trap of thinking yourself as like a character. You get like main character syndrome. And that's not necessarily healthy. <coughs> but yeah, the point for all of this, right, is um like Shadow or not Shadow slash slash he donated five dollars he's like get yourself a new mate treat yourself to something good I I don't care what mate do you guys want like if you want to get me money to help me get the mates and stuff so that the streams look cooler that's that's perfectly fine but uh it's it's I I, I honestly don't know because I honestly don't care I would just have the car mate if I played this myself Toad. Everyone's saying Toad. <laughs> Alright. Well, people want Toad. We'll do that one. Frog. Ribbit. Rabbit. Hey, Vincent Tudo. Thank you for the gifted sub. And if you didn't get one, you gotta type evaded in chat. Yeah, Ame was a lot of those, but I don't think anyone else... I don't... Not a single other person said anything else. There's one Salamangrade in there. So we've got that. It's there now. Um, what do I currently have as my mate... Oh, yeah. But the Fusion Cup is much more um, thematic for the deck I'm playing. Gifted sub mixed. Missed, yeah. The 
screw the aesthetic. I guess let's let's do a let's do a poll then. Slash poll. What mate should hard leg use for preta plants? Four question marks, each one more important than the last. Um, instant fusion or totally awesome. Let's go ahead and we'll give we'll give five minutes. People can vote on that. Are there any fusion icons? Not really. Like, we could get Master Diamond, that's a fusion monster. But I think it's more appropriate just to be like, we're gonna go for Diamond, because we're gonna make it to Diamond. Darling Tonio, mate, I want to see a Bufo, mate. Bufo is the most adorable Preta plant. He's just a big, boofy Bufo. He's just boofing around. Look at him. He's just like, rip it. And you're like, that thing may look may look a little ugly. It's, you haven't seen the other Preta plants. This is the cutest of all the Preta plants, which is saying something. Ufo these nuts. Thank you, Tud. You you you'll be more you'll be happy to know that his full name is Bufo Licula, cause he's gonna lick ya 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 la Bufo these nuts or something. I don't know. I'm not. I'm no zoomer. I can't make these puns, but you get the idea. Caro caro caro, <laughs> boo. Wait, are you guys saying boo or Bufo Licula? Totally a fossil deck, yeah. <laughs> Double boo! <laughs> Are you saying boo or boo earns? She licula my bufo these nuts until I something buzzer sound, yeah. Uh, while we're doing that poll, I guess we'll go ahead. I was saying boo earns. <laughs> Um, let's, let's look real quick. Something I posted on Twitter, but I feel like this is worth sharing because it's, it's always important to share stuff like this. Uh, let's, can we copy this and paste it into OBS? Yes. So I wanted to show this off. This is, this is the, um, the stats for... See if we can move this down. Ame, thank you for the four months of sub. I appreciate it. Look at Aunt Kero, Kero, Kero. Yeah, she's trying to get the frog. The frog only has 18 votes. Instant Fusion has significantly more. See, most people care about the thematically. The thematics. But yeah, I thought this was neat. So this is the, the the stats for the fossil ladder climb, which if you don't know, was released back in July. And if you look at these stats, this is for the last 90 days. And you can see, oh, I can't reach all the way over there, but it starts at the beginning of December and you can kind of see how, uh, you know, it was getting not very many views, like 50 to 100 a day just trickle it in, you know, a couple people. Most of those views where someone click on the video, be like, no, this is not for me, and then they leave. And then sometime around mid-December, those views just started jumping up, baby. We just got a big incline. And usually, like, that's the, th the thing about YouTube is that you make a lot of money um, passively off of, like, videos slowly getting things over time. Usually, like, a video I released six months ago, it'll make, like, five to ten bucks this month which is not much, but I've got like a uh, hundred videos or whatever that are getting like views in a decent amount. So all those $5 like add up. But this one got like $200 and 20,000 views and 68 subscribers six months after it came out. 
And so it, it's interesting to bring this up because I remember about six months ago when this came out, there was a discussion on Twitter about how much of YouTube is luck and how much of it is skill. And obviously there were some people that were like, you know, it's all skill, there's no such thing as luck, you make your own luck. And there were some people that were like, oh yeah, it's all, it's 100% luck. Everyone there, they're not talented. And like most things, the obvious answer is it's somewhere in between. There's at least a, a portion of luck. The poll has ended, Instant Fusion has won. Sorry, Ame. You caro caroed all you, don't worry, they'll, now, now that we have it, we can always break it out. I'll do a poll every stream and we'll see if we can switch. Turns out fossils are neat. But yeah, this, this is a great example of how luck works on YouTube. And I should click, because a lot of people think of luck as like this nebulous force, like God shines down upon you. What I mean by luck is factors that are beyond your control and factors that are beyond your ability to plan or understand. When you have literally no say or no way to play into that and something just happens to you, that's luck. It's, it's uh, randomness, it's unpredictability. It's factors that are so complicated or so detached from you that you don't really have a say in how it works. And this really is just a case of like, you know, uh, for whatever reason in mid-December, the YouTube algorithm decided that, you know what people really want to see? Fossils. Let's just start pushing this fossil video to as many people as possible. And there, 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 there's no new fossils have been released. Fossils have not become more powerful. They're not on dual links. They haven't got new support. There's nothing about this that has changed. Nothing I did planned for this or could have planned for this. It is entirely luck. And the thing is too, if, if I look at my bigger stats, I'm not gonna open up the tab and look over everything, but after this, like you see this starts like picking up, you know, this starts getting more and more views. Around here, all the other ladder climbs views started going up as well because I suddenly had more subscribers and those subscribers were watching other videos and telling other people about videos. So not only is this video doing well, not only did I get like just a $200 windfall, but everything like if this is snowballing into more movement. Now it's probably not going to be enough movement to like, you know, push me into a hundred thousand or something. But this is a good example of how growth can happen spontaneously through no work or fault of your own. These things just kind of happen sometimes. And yeah, obviously I had to make a, a good video in the first place, but when that video succeeds has nothing to do with me. Yeah, they were released on Duel Links when the video first came out. Joe admits it's all luck. Me and my four subscribers know I'm the more skillful guy. <laughs> yeah. Verte being used in Preta plants, it's more likely than you think. There's a fossil night TikTok trend, pr possibly. But yeah, I think that's cool to point. It's, it's also really nice. Um, I just want to take a moment in general to Oh, someone's messaging. Who is pinging me? Oh, it's just someone saying the thumbnail. I guess I can share this. One second. But yeah, I want to both... I guess it's kind of bragging, but I also kind of want to just, like, thank y'all. Because today has... Or this year has been a pretty good year. I guess it's an end-of-the-year wrap-up kind of thing. And it's related to this. So this is my top top 10 most viewed videos of all time. Well, thank you, Vincent. I appreciate it. Top 10 videos of all time uh, uh, on, on YouTube. 
And you look over this list here. Let me let me make it bigger. And uh, it's been a little worrying to me because my biggest video, my biggest videos have always been like crossovers and special things. And they've also kind of been older, right? Like my biggest video was 2017. We got 2018, 2019, 18, 17, 18. <coughs> these are all at least three years old. And if you look at these, it's like this first one had rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh in it. This one had rank 10, the second one had rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh. This one had Jimbles. You have to get to the fourth video before it's just me. And then the fifth video is like a uh, Halloween video. Ojamas, oh, that's, that's just me. Um, crab sharpening, thank you for the tier one sub. Uh, we've got the Chaos Draft with MBT, so that's that's newer, but that's got MBT. His name brings all the boys to the yard. Then we've got a Christmas episode from 2016, then another Rank 10 episode. And then coming in at number 10, somehow jumping to the top of the list this month, is the Fossil, <laughs> the fossil Ladder Climb. Hey, thank you, Eris Scottle. That's an interesting name for the tier one subs. If you got a sub, let's go and hit the forbidden dab in the chat. Show them off. Show off all the emotes that you got. Is that the average watch time? The percentage, yeah, is how much people watch. It's about 30 to 40% depending on what you're looking at. Which is actually pretty good for long videos like this. Even with really short videos, right? Most of the time you're looking at a, a, a watch percentage of like 50% or 60%. And that's because about half of your views, not a half, I'd say like a fourth of your views are people who click on the video, watch it for like two seconds or just skip to like where a deck profile is and look at that and then close the video. So they watch like two seconds and it brings the whole percentage down. When you've got very long videos like this that are like two hours long, the fact that like most people watched a fourth of it is actually pretty good. Yeah, a lot of people, that's, a lot of people have been saying that, that they, I, I work better with a co-host. Ladder climb fossils with Rada and MBT, easy. Well, see, here's the thing, right? Is like, the Christmas gift deck from 2016 is like, eighth most biggest views. That was the first Christmas deck. I've done Christmas decks since then. None of them have, have reached the same fame. Meanwhile, ghost tricks are something I've done like eight times. Or not eight. I've done them five times, and this was the third one. Third one, the most popular. The others aren't in the top ten. Same thing. I've done a whole bunch of Yugi Poop art galleries. None of them have hit the success of this, like, 300,000. But yeah, my point is, it's, it's really nice after spending a couple of years where it's felt like I can't succeed without other people and none of my newer ideas are working to see a video like like that I've done on my own this year jump up into the top 10. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. And I don't have the the clip here but I can I I've, I've moved out to like the top 25. Stalling. I'll get to it soon enough. But um but yeah, if you look at the top 25, like six of the 11 ladder climbs are in the top 25. Like the 11th one right after fossils is the Ojama ladder climb. And you go down to like 18 and there's um the the Egyptian god one is up there. The um the the DDD one is up there. So it's really nice. I when I started this, like I, it, it's hard to believe that like I only started ladder climbing this this year. I started in February of 2022 because I didn't. Um, the, I mean the, the the game just launched that January, 
like halfway through January and it took me a month to figure out the formula. But I've done 11 episodes and half of those are in like my top 25 videos of all time. So it, it really warms my heart and makes me feel confident about this show that it's doing so well that it's become like my most watched show because when I started it, I was really worried that I had peaked with what a deck and I'd never reach those heights again. And the thing is like, I only know the ladder climb is going to get better as we go on. I'm only improving. So I found you through that fossil video. Watch the whole thing because it was fun. Hey. Perseverance, a bit of luck. And, and of course, yeah, you all. I wouldn't be here without the great audience. You guys coming out here and watching the videos, liking them, commenting, pr presumably showing your friends from time to time, all that stuff really helps. So I, I tip my hat. Thank you for helping to make this show the success that it is. This series, as good as it was. And yeah, I will say it's, so, like someone said, uh, and like like I thought with this, uh, most of, a lot of my top ten videos are me with with other people. That's why I was like, okay, this December when the ad revenue is highest, I'm gonna get the whole like month of crossovers. We're just gonna get all these different people, and um, those videos didn't do awful, but not only but but they didn't do great either. Um, the, the ladder climbs did much better. The Umi control, which I did not think would do nearly as well as it did. I was like, who would want to watch two hours of floodgates? Turns out a lot of people. That's in the top 25 as well. And that might, that one's still growing. That one is uh, still going up. So there's an, that's entirely possible that'll break into the top 10. <coughs> That one is all, like, that's the newest one, and it's already in the top 25. So with time, it'll only go higher. Uh, fuck, what was my point? I was saying something, and then I got distracted by the Umi. Um. Fuck. My train of thought has derailed! I still have the brain fog! It was just two hours of disproving free will. I know, I had all that crazy part in there. Hope you get to 100k. That that would be nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that was... Okay, so my point was, you know, I looked at the, the trends. I was like, I do well when I'm crossing over with people. I do well in December. Let's spend December crossing over with people. And those videos didn't do nearly as well. Um, not only did they not do as well, but I've actually, I've gotten at least two people on the, the Patreon who have left. And, uh, when you leave Patreon, you get the option to fill in a, an exit survey where you can say why you left. And for most people, it's like, ah, I lost interest over time. I got a new job. I, I only intended to donate for one goal, and now that I did, I, I'm not interested anymore. But I've gotten two people who are like, you know, I signed up to this for hard leg, not hard leg and a bunch of other people. I'm just not interested in watching videos that have co-hosts in them. So it's like, hmm, maybe, maybe this wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> we'll see. If nothing else, I will say that I'm planning to uh, increase the the length of the the chaos draft next season. I mostly just watch ladder climb, yeah. And we'll see. Who knows? Maybe in like two or three years, if the ladder climbs are consistently getting like, you know, a hundred thousand views, two hundred thousand views. I might just stop all the other stuff and just be like, yeah, you get the one video a month, but it's a doozy of a video. Joe is not allowed to have fans. Uber Super Sloth with a whole year, 13 months. You got that super gold name. Yeah, the frequency of the collabs might make them a little less special too. But yeah, 
that's that's enough. I just wanted to give an update talking about, you know, how this year's going, how hopefully next year's going. Um, and just some behind the scenes stuff about content creation in general. Because I knew when, when I used to watch people, I used to find that stuff fascinating. Granted, that was because I wanted to become a content maker. But, uh, you know, hopefully you like this little behind the scenes, seeing like how much stuff makes and how views work and the thought process that goes behind it. Rush dual collabs or ass. <laughs> There, there's two kinds of people in this world, right? There's the people who are like, please, more Rush Duels. And then there's, I will watch anything except Rush Duels. I would rather watch the political video about abortion than watch another Rush Duel video. <laughs> like, please. What's the limit on meme decks you'd be willing to play in Ladder Climb? <coughs> So the rules in general for Ladder Climb is that it has to be viable, which means it has to be able to get like a 50% win rate in the the, the ladder. Um, in order to determine that, it's gotta be through testing. A lot of decks, like I can tell just right off the bat by, from experience, like whether or not they would succeed. Something like Sue Ships is not going to be able to fly. Something like Preta Plants will work, especially if I can mix it with Branded or something. Ojama got over a 50-50 win rate. You betcha. Lair Virus, that's like an anti-meta that might work. I'd be I'd be at least be willing to test it. I'd ha I'd have to test it against stuff and see how it works, but I'd be willing to try it. Uh, the exception of that, of course, is um, is December. December, I decided for a Christmas gift, I would do whatever the patrons wanted, no matter how bad it was. And they wanted galaxy eyes. And I think that episode turned out pretty fun. It's it's still somehow two hours long. But uh, if you did not, if you weren't here for that, let me tell you, the win rate was not very high. It was not very high at all. That deck is very, very outdated. The power creep has hit it harder than most. I still don't know why they wanted Galaxy Eyes. Me either. But yeah, that, that video is really going to be the test, right? Like, if I can play a goofy anime archetype that is popular but not good and not succeed with it and still have that video do well, then that might be the, the precedent for December. Like, yes, most months, I'm going to play something that's at least workable. But in December, if you want me to play Blue Eyes, or you want me to play, I don't know, uh, Sacred Beasts, or Naturia, or whatever, you can request that, and I'll do that. But it's not going to be a regular thing, because the, the better decks do better. Because of the new support. They should have waited for the new support then. <laughs> yeah, War Rocks. December. If you want War Rocks in December, we could do that. Yeah, Blue Blue Eyes is maybe on the edge of playability. They did just get Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon is very good. And ironically, Blue Dra Blue Eyes has has some synergy with Brandon. <laughs> The fact that you can activate Branded Fusion and send Jet Dragon to the graveyard and then destroy something and then summon the Jet Dragon actually makes them kind of powerful. War Rock never changes. Would you consider Evil Eye a gimmick deck? Yes. Evil Eye is way outdated. Joe without glasses looks so cursed. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I often like to say, we'll take this off, it's like, Oh yes, here's your anthropology professor, come to talk to you about very serious topics. And here's the homeless guy down the street who wants five dollars from you if you don't mind. <coughs> it's okay, I'm pretty sure I don't got COVID because my dick still work. It's like we got this sword like oh here's jolly young santa claus come to give gifts to the children like 
And here's creepy Uncle Bob come to steal tricks from the chi <laughs> gifts from the children. Het cha 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 cha. The glasses do everything. I'm dying. Curse Joe. You'll have to see if anyone wants to clip that. Maybe I can maybe I can make that into a short. People have been telling me I need to make shorts to help boost the channel. Little clips like that. <laughs> can creepy Uncle Bob do the January climb? No. Did it not do well? No, it did well. But I think that I, I used that as an example earlier because I think if I if I just say it out loud, most people are gonna be like, Ooh, I, I, I could not stand to watch such a thing. Like it doesn't matter how well I cover it and how calm I am and how nuanced the take is. Um, people are just going to come into that that topic with a lot of preconceived notions. It's funny how accessories are some fake. Yeah, you should see me without a beard. Actually, one last thing I wonder. Um, do I still have this? And can I reveal it without, without revealing everything about me? I have an old driver's license, chat. From before I had a beard. Would you like to see beardless hardleg from back in the day? No. Yes. Please. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna have to make this bigger. Unless it doxes you. I'm finding a way to cover up everything identifying. I think I have. Let's, let's hope so. Hard leg with no beard. If cursed, then maybe. Look at that guy. Barely even recognize him. Big double chin and everything. I look like an egg. <laughs> Without the beard and the bald, it's just awful. The world was not ready for beardless Joe. It's baby Joe. No. No, if you want to see baby Joe here, one second. I also, in addition to having that, I have my, my driver's light. I have my permit. I have my driver's permit from when I was 16. Would you like to see 16-year-old Joe? Library card? Not sure. Time machine up in here. You could see teenage Joe, and then, like, you, you, you could look at it, and then you want, like, if you ever wonder, like, Joe, why do you have such low self-esteem? You're such a handsome man. Like, well, I am now. But you see, I used to be a little twerp. I used to be skinny as heck and rail thin and have dead eyes and have little little shimmy glasses and a comb over haircut. <laughs> I used to be a little redditor except for before reddit. Talk about change? Oh yeah. I used to be skinny as heck. The top hat is not real. Kind of looks like David here, a little bit. I was you, Dave, when I was 19. The glow up. Yep. It, it's so weird where it's like, you know, you look at my face and it's like, there's just something wrong. And, and it's only later that I realized like, you know what I was missing? I needed to be bald, fat, and have a beard. That, that really, like, my face was just designed for that, and I was fighting against it all my life. 
bald, fat beard, and I needed to have thicker glasses through most of my, my teenage years. Oh, one second, my lamp fell over. Through most of my teenage years, I, I had these really thin wireframe glasses because I somehow thought like I needed to make the glasses look as, as less obvious as possible. And it wasn't until I broke my eighth pair that I was just like, fuck it, I need, I need the big thick rimmed glasses. Hard sickness, Joe, needs your help. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, we're 40 minutes in. Let's go ahead. Let me get the document open. We'll try to go a little bit later than normal. Surprisingly, I have 260 people here, even though no Yu-Gi-Oh has happened. Thank you, everyone. It reminds me of that that one hot tub streamer I've heard about who like never gets into the hot tub. She just continually does countdowns for getting into the hot tub, but never actually appears on camera. <laughs> I'm that, but with Yu-Gi-Oh. She has it figured out. Kid, thank you for the gifted sub. And if you didn't get one, you gotta type evaded. Okay, session 01. Dangling keys in front of the face. Um, oh yeah, I have to explain this deck. An IRL stream with just stuff in the background. <laughs> Master rules square. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, one second. I gotta blow my nose. If you're offended by such things, look away. I hate noses. How's the pre play going? We haven't started. <laughs> All right, so after a little bit of testing, this is the deck we're going live with. I don't think we need any changes. There's a couple things I've got in mind, but I still want to test it out on the ladder before, we're, before we 100% make those changes because a lot of them involve buying more ultra rares. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let's try that again. Take two. All right, so here we are. Here's the deck we're going to go in with. No changes necessary, at least not now. There's a couple things I'm maybe thinking about tweaking, but those involve buying ultra rares, and I don't want to do any of those yet. I want to take it on the ladder first and see how it does. As for how to actually play this deck, it's a bit difficult to describe, right? Because it's one of those deck that lives and dies on shitting things out of the extra deck. So we've got this toolbox of extra deck monsters, like Chimera Reflasia. It's a Preta Plant and a Dark Monster. Once per turn, target a monster on the field that has a level lower or equal than this, banish it. So you've, you've got a targeted banish. You've got Starving Venom, two Dark Monsters on the field, except tokens. When it's fusion summoned, make this card gain attack equal to one opponent's special summoned monster until the end of this turn. Non-targeting effect rays basically can get over anything by battle because it'll have their attack plus 28. Drago Stapelia, um, the, this is probably one of the strongest ones. Negate the activated effects of your opponent's monsters that have predator counters. We have a few ways to put predator counters on monsters, including this, which is once per turn, quick effect, Target a monster, place a predator counter on it. Um, this negates all of those, but I'll, but uh, this negates all those monsters, obviously, which is pretty nice. But predator counters in general have their own effect, which is if that monster is level two or higher, it becomes level one as long as it has a predator counter. So not only is this good in, in, at four. So not only is this good for negating monsters, but it can also disrupt like Ixie and Synchro plays, right? Your opponent summons a sword soul, they make the token, and then you target the token and put a predator counter on it. 
It's now level one, so unless they have a level five synchro, they're not going to be able to do anything with it. Uh, that's useful because we also have this trap, which is searchable. If we happen to go first, we can use this. Send a predator, send a predator plant from your deck to the graveyard. Place a predator counter on each face-up monster on the field. And if they do, their levels become one. So this is just a blanket, add predator counters to everything. Make everything level one. And then if you have Drago Stapelia out, they're all negated too. Pretty nice little combo. Again, if you're going first, but this is a, a go second build. And it's a go second build mostly because of this thing. Trippo Thyber, I'm just gonna call it Triff. Um, Preta Plant Triff, three dark monsters on the field. A bit of a high cost, but you can do it with this deck pretty easily. Gains the attack equal to the original attack of all monsters on the field with predator counters. So if your opponent has a couple monsters on the field and you have a couple monsters and you have a way to put predator counters on like all of them, this thing gets big, big, big. We're talking like a hundred thousand attack. Um, and this we can use to OTK pretty easily, especially in combination with stuff like the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, which can already get pretty huge. Uh, in addition, unlike the Galaxy Eyes deck where it was OTK or lose, this also has the effect that if your opponent would special summon from the extra deck, you can once per turn just negate and destroy. So it's a summon negate. If they happen to stop the OTK, we've got some control elements. Also, if your opponent controls a monster with a predator counter, you can summon this from the graveyard. So even if it leaves the field, we have ways to get it back. Uh, another big combo... Our other two big playmakers are Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon, 3300 attack, takes a Preta Plant and a Dark Monster with an original level of 8 or higher. Once per turn, target a monster on the field until the end of this turn, change its attacks to zero, and its effects are negated. It also does some stuff when it's destroyed, but it doesn't matter because being able to negate something and also change its attack to zero, very good for that OTK. Even if we don't get to 100,000, having like this and a Starving Venom, when we make something zero, going to be very strong. And finally, we've got Starving Venom Preta Power Fusion Dragon. Very difficult to summon, takes a dark fusion monster plus another fusion monster, but its effect is pretty sweet. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, you can tribute one monster on either player's field with a predator counter and negate it. And then if this card is destroyed, it like floats into any dark monster. But this allows us to negate anything by tributing our opponent's monsters as cost, as long as we can get predator counters on them. So again, we activate this. If we've got like Starving Venom Preta Power and like Dragos Depelia, everything's negated. And then we can negate their spell traps by tributing off their monsters. It's just, it's absolutely nutty. Um, <coughs> now what makes this particularly good why we're playing this in a go second variant is because well one a fusion deck is the best deck in the format branded is everywhere it's being mixed into everything dpe is still around and because this takes a fusion monster drago stapelia takes a fusion monster super poly is very very strong in this deck and we have ways to search Super Poly because we're playing Darling Tonia Cobra. If this is summoned by the effect of a Preta Plant, you can add one polymerization or fusion spell from your deck to your hand. So this searches Super Poly, it searches Instant Fusion, it searches Ultra Polymerization, which is actually pretty good in this deck. Uh, we'll, we'll explain that when we actually play it. Um, but the point is, you have a lot of flexibility into what you can go into, depending on what your opponent's field is, what you draw, what you search. And in addition to Darlantonia Cobra, we of course have Verte Anaconda, who is a Preta Plant. <laughs> a lot of people forget that this is part of that archetype. Not only can it pay 2,000 to send something like Super Poly to deck to the graveyard and use its effect, but it also has the effect to target a monster on the field and make it dark. 
And if you, in case you didn't notice, a lot of these are a fusion monster and a dark monster. Two dark monsters on the field, a Predaplant and a high level dark monster. So the fact that we can make them dark and then super poly with them is just like incredibly good. Again, for that OTK, it works if they have monsters on the field, but going first, you can't take advantage of it. That's why we're starting with this go second build, hoping that the blind second will work. And then if things don't don't work out very well, we can maybe make a, a like a branded Predaplant version of this deck, get rid of the Verte Anaconda, and focus on doing combos where we're ending on like Dragostapelia plus this, plus this, plus a Mirror Jade, and see how that works. But overall, this is just a, a very versatile deck. It has going first plays, it has going second plays, and a lot of the monsters are really just like, you can special summon them under certain conditions. If they leave the field, search a card. Um, if you can put this in the pendulum zone, you can fusion summon. If you can get this on the field, you can fusion summon. There's no set combo. It's non-linear. You're just taking whatever tools you have and finding a way to make as many fusion monsters as possible. So that's the plan, at least starting out. You'll see how some of these other things work out. And uh, hopefully if you have any questions that will be answered watching the duels, but if not, you can always ask down in the comments. I, I generally try to respond to as many comments as I can. Without further ado though, let's just go ahead and jump right into the first duels. Let's just get on that ladder and start climbing, baby. Who climbs a ladder like this, like underhanded? You wouldn't even be able to do it, but that's that's the motion I make. <laughs> okay. So, 0, 53, deck version 1, and explanation. Uh, cut this down as best you can, removing all the ums and stammering and such. as well as the second takes. Do you ever upload the VODs to YouTube? I do. I have another channel. You should be able to find it down in the description. It's called ha Raw Hard Leg. For all your hard leg needs. Uh, let me actually see. Let me look on here. It's Oh yeah, if you look down below, you know there's like rules about donate, Patreon, merch. If you click on the word schedule, it'll take you to the Raw Hard Lake channel. Or if you can't see that, here's the link. We still don't have enough subscribers to get like a a custom URL, but soon, soon and eventually. Hello, Mr. Hardleg. Hello, Boom. And actually, I, I, I lied for the sake of the camera. We're not going to jump immediately into that because I haven't played this in a while. Don't you need Electromite? I can rarely get two of them on the field, two uh, uh, pendulums. We're going to test this real quick. <coughs> You're going to get some dual action, but we're going to play it against uh, this deck. bring back the snap. I do snap. I do it when I do like the good luck and have fun. Venomy dragon, it's not very good. It doesn't do anything unique. Yeah, so I'm just gonna re-familiarize myself with all the combos and stuff before we jump onto the ladder and I'm gonna do that by playing this. We're gonna do three duels and then we'll jump on. Okay. Unfortunately, this... So wait, no, it doesn't. Okay. So, I'm going to use this. Destroy all the spell traps. We're going to summon 
Saccharenia, and we're going to put this in the Pendulum Scale. This in the Pendulum Scale says you can use uh, Pendulum Monsters. Monsters in the Pendulum Scale are treated as being on the field. So I can use this, which only lets me fusion someone with monsters on the field and make Ambluo. <coughs> um, sure, we'll do that. We'll do that. Thank you, frankly, for the 34 months. Resolve everything. So this lets me search, and I've already normal summoned. Uh, I can pendulum summon probably if I get Bufo though. We'll get Bufo. We'll get... Oh wait, we should have gotten that and that. Damn. Um... I think we're fine. Yeah, let's just get another Triff. Yeah. And then Triff lets us put a Predator counter on this. Okay, so this can tribute itself. Oh! Whoa. Um, oh, I can tribute a monster with a Predator counter. Hell yeah. Get out of here. And we'll summon Orphus Scorpio. <laughs> Orphus Scorpio. I've never even run into that before. Best part of waking up is soldiers in your cup. Thank you, Neo Trinity, for the $10. Can we get some cats in the chat for Trinity? Thank you very much. So this, when it summons, searches. This, when it goes to the graveyard, searches. So we can get... Um, this is level eight, unfortunately. Let's get one of these. Um... Super Poly. Yeah, we'll get Super Poly. Then we're going to Pendulum Scale. We're going to Pendulum Scale. We're going to Pendulum Summon. This guy. This guy can Fusion. Let's make... Um, We just need big attack, right? That one we'll save for that. So yeah, let's just use these three. We'll make this. Then Bufo can pen, uh, fusion summon. Um. A plant monster and a dark monster. Yep. We'll use both our scales to make this. <coughs> oh, this is at once per turn. Holy fuck. I'm, I'm remembering how amazing this deck is. Okay, so Bufo lets me get this back. So this thing, when it's used as material, it's target monsters on the field up to the number of predators you control and put predator counters on them. <coughs> so we put counters on all three of these. And again, this gains attack equal to all the monsters with predator counters. <coughs> so my plan initially before I thought that, I thought that was a hard once per turn. So I'm like, Oh yeah, I'll attack in 3,000, 3,000, this, and then Super Poly, 
during the battle phase and make Starving Venom. But I don't even need to. I don't even need to make this. I could have just made a Drago Stapelia in case. <coughs> okay. We didn't play around Gores. We had a summon negate. I don't think it works against Gores, but I like to pretend. Brandon takes everyone's charge. The AI never stood a chance, exactly. No, I don't want to ash myself, thank you. Let's do this. Let's send that. Let's summon this. Activate this. <coughs> Ultra! Now, you didn't get to see the cool thing about Ultra Polymerization last time because we used a Pendulum Monster. We'll get this. We'll activate. We'll search. Um, what do I have? I have that, so let's get Bufo. Let's get Boofy with it. But yeah, Ultra Polymerization says... Target the monster you fusion summoned, and then if both the materials are in the graveyard, you could special summon them from the graveyard. Their attack and defense are zero, and their effects are negated. But like, if you wanted to make a Verte Anaconda or a Cicada King for a negate, you know, there you go. That also gives you a target for this, in case your opponent doesn't have, if you don't have predator counters. You can get this on the field. Go ahead and activate this. Let's get a fusion and a dark monster. Yeah. This and this. Can you explain what pendulum summoning basically does? Yeah, when I get to it, um, okay, so the way pendulum summoning works is in order to pendulum summon, you've got to have two pendulum monsters. You can only play them in your left and right most zones. If you look at them, they have this little scale here. This is zero and this is eight. Which means now, once per turn, we can Pendulum Summon any monsters from our hand whose levels are between the two scales. So because we got 0 and 8, we can summon 1 through 7. Any level 1 through 7 monsters we have. That works from the hand and from the face-up extra deck. Because Pendulum Monsters, instead of going to the graveyard, they go to the extra deck face-up. And then you can Pendulum Summon them back. But if you summon out of the extra deck, they have to go to the extra monster zone. It's a complicated mechanic. The important part here is just if we get them, it's just a free material on board. We can just be like, oh, yo, what up? How's it going? And then we can use these two to... Make Verde. And then when this leaves the field, we get a search. Go for this one. Bufo Confusion Summon. <coughs> Let's make this. All 
I don't think I actually have game here. Not unless a Bufo is once per turn. Oh wait, no, it's not. And then this, if you control a, if a predator counter is on the field, you could summon this. Just free material. And then if I had a, a link three, I could make that, but I don't. I do have this though. So now I can activate this effect. I can send super poly and I can make by using three dark monsters on the field. And then put predator counters on this. Put two predator counters? Does that mean it gets bonus? No, but it gains the 3,000 plus the 27. It's 9,000! Okay, last test duel and then we'll jump into the ladder. Galaxy eyes in shambles. I gotta do at least three duels to get the, uh, the gems. So we're just doing that here. I want uh, my gems. Dogman. Oh, it's Danger Dark World. Oh, they didn't use Dark World dealings? Weird. Perfect top deck. Top deck you're one of. That's what you want to see here. Uh, okay. Normal summon. Activate. Discard this. Special summon. This. Activate both of these. This will get me Triff. This will get me... Um, I think I just need... Yeah, I'll just go for Ultra Polymerization here. Go for MK Ultra. Describe where your name came from. It was just it was someone in, in uh, that I used to work with called me that. It's nothing, nothing special. Okay, so now we're gonna do something really fun, chat. So check this, now that they've got monsters, we'll activate these two. Uh, and actually, let's go ahead and we're gonna use Pret of Practice. This is just like summon one from your hand and then add one from deck to hand. <coughs> At this point, it doesn't matter. We'll take the trap just in case. So then we're going to, oh, I could pendulum summon too. That's hilarious. Sure, let's pendulum summon. Free material. Um, yeah, so then we're going to use Bufo Licula and we're going to make Trifathyburn and we're going to use this, this, and one of these. Big. When this goes from the field to the graveyard, you get a search and this Puts predator counters plus times the number of monsters you have on the field. 
So you get a counter and you get a counter. You get a counter and sure, let's give you a counter too. Everyone gets a counter. And we'll search another one of these. Then what we can do is activate this. We can tribute off a monster to summon a predator counter, a predator plant from the deck. This guy says monsters with a predator counter can be used as or used as fusion material, treated as dark. So every monster with a predator counter is treated as dark. During your main phase, you can fusion summon a dark fusion monster using this card and monsters from your hand, field, and or monsters with predator counters your opponent controls. So I can be like, ah, I see, very nice. That is a, a nice monster you might have there. It would be a shame if someone were to, I don't know, use it as fusion material to make a starving Venom. And then he just gained that much attack, you know? If they were just gaining attack. Let's bring this back. Oh, am I locked into, what did I do that locked me into fusion summoning? That's, that's important to know. Because I thought I could still do... Oh, Preta Practice. Okay, I can only... I can't... Okay, Preta Practice locks me. I was like... And then I can Super Poly. I mean, not that it matters, right? Like, I've already got the ability to just like... 56... 52... Hello, Split Infinitive. So dead. Yeah, it, it literally doesn't matter how much attack they have. They could have like a Grenmaju to Aiza with like 100,000. Um, because I gain the attack equal to their monsters with both cases. So it's always an OTK. All right, and so now the journey begins and you'll have to excuse me because I'm gonna repeat a lot of this when I'm explaining it for the, the show. Standard season 13 has begun and we will begin in in gold five. Uh, if, you, if you missed the Galaxy Eyes deck, it didn't do very well. We, we didn't get all the way up into uh, diamond. So instead of starting in plat like we normally do, we're starting in, in gold, but that's fine. That gives the pure Preta plants more of a time to shine before we, we move over into the more hardcore branded Preta plants. At least that's my hope. And of course, we've got the, the fusion cup because we're playing all fusions. Really, the only thing I think we have to worry about, runic is probably going to be a problem because we don't have a lot of spell trap disruption or negation or anything like that. And, uh, what's it called? Labyrinth is probably going to be a problem. They have let me go first. All right, so we're not going to be able to show off our go second abilities here. And this is a pretty darn not good hand. But I think we can still do some stuff with it. All right, so clam, clammy. I don't know how to actually pronounce that, but I'm just gonna call it clammy, because it seems clammy. This can fusion summon using itself and cards on your hand, field, or on your opponent's field that have predator counters. We're just gonna use the Darlingtonia in our hand. We're gonna summon this. Ambulo, this is like the best card in the deck. It's, it's better than everything. This allows us to search a card, pretty much any predator card and I'm trying to think what we want to go for here. Unfortunately, we can't do a whole lot. Um, no, actually, okay, we're gonna go for by vibe slip. Because in addition to this effect, it can tribute a monster, including itself, to summon a predator plant from the deck. So we're gonna summon 
Orphus Scorpio. You don't know this combo. Orphus Scorpio can discard a monster card, summon a Predator Plant from the deck. We're gonna pick Darlingtonia Cobra. If Darlingtonia Cobra is summoned by the effect of a Predator Plant, you get to search a Polymerization or Fusion card. Also, if this is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Predator Plant from your deck to the graveyard. <laughs> We're just going off. We're getting all the things. Uh, let's go ahead and get... I think we need Bufo at this point. Yeah, we're gonna go for Bufo. We're gonna get Boofy with it. And this we're going to use to search Ultra Polymerization. Ultra Polymerization, you gotta use monsters on the field. Cost 2,000 life points. Um, fuck, do we just make another one of these? No, I think we make Chimera or Flasia. It's not the best, but it'll be a fusion monster if nothing else. So we make Chimera or Flasia. And then we can use this in the graveyard, target the monster we just made, summon back the materials. Their effects are negated and stuff, but that don't matter that much because they're there. This allows us to... Fuck, is that really it? I think that might really be it, unfortunately. <coughs> yeah, this is not a great starting hand, at least going first. Uh, we can make either Dragostapelia or Trifathyvern. And I think with everything that we've got going, we're gonna go for Triff. We're going to negate summons from the extra deck, hopefully. Hopefully they're playing an extra deck deck. So we've got this. We've got Called by the Grave. And this has an effect in the graveyard, which is pretty nice. But it'll only activate during the standby phase. The Chimera Reflasia. Let's see. During the next standby phase, after this was sent to the graveyard, add a Polymerization or Fusion spell. So we can use this to get Super Poly. So we're prepared for next turn. Next turn, if they, as long as they don't OTK us, you know, we've got the Lightning Storm, we've got Predaplactus to special summon anything from our hand, and we've got Super Poly. Or more realistically, we've got Super Poly, a card to discard, and Lightning Storm. 2,000 Garbage Lord? It's Garbage Lord! Look at them coming down here. Special summon them. Giant Kozaki. If there is no face-up Kozaki on the field, this card is destroyed. Inflict damage to its owner equal to its current attack. Why are they self-burning? This is some kind of self-burn deck? Are they trying to derank or are they gonna like switch our life points? All right. Toon World? Yeah, I guess it's it's just self TK. Why would they let us go first, I wonder? The Gold 5 experience. Had to step out, what happened? They inflicted a lot of damage to themselves. Report, report. At least they're quick about it, are they? They uh, seem to be running the timer down. They won't pass. I had this the other day. Oh, really now? Is that what you think? Okie dokie. Gotcha. Well, I don't need to do anything. I can just attack with this unless they have like, I don't know. Uh, what would it be? Magic cylinder? 
Do you got something that can stop this? Destruction of Destiny. Send three cards on the top of your deck. Take a thousand for every spell trap sent this way. And another one. So they're sent. I guess it's just a self TK. They're just burning themselves to death. <coughs> Truly, we live in a society. Well, you know, not the most satisfying win, but uh, I guess I'll count it as a win. We got it. I feel like I should report them. I don't know. Is that is that something we report? Let's let's look at what they have as far as reporting stuff. Yeah, see they're not they're not doing slow play and I'm not sure if they're cheating. I could say they're a bot deck, but they waited for an indeterminate amount of time. I don't know. I I, I think I'm good. We're fine. We get a win. Uh, one, twenty-two. Uh, dual one verse. How? Uh. Some people just want gems. All right, second duel. This time we have won the coin toss, so we can choose to go second. Hopefully it's not, you know, another another bot deck. I hope that's not becoming an infestation. Oh, hey, we open with Maxi Ash. I think that means we win against many decks. We also open with our one of trap and this thing, which is not great. Pre-res map. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll allow them to do that because I'm curious to see what they got and also I want them to have their life points. FA Auto Navigator, eh? Alright. What does this do again? Um, if this card is normal, you can add one FA Field Spell from your deck to your hand. Sure, I'll allow that. Hyper Stadium. All right. Dark Dragster. All right, let's go ahead and max C here. Be like, yeah, if you want a special summon, you can, that's fine. I kind of hope they do special summon because I need another card to do anything. All right, pit stop. Reduce its levels by two, and if you do draw cards, sure. I might feel bad about allowing all this to go through, but we'll we'll find out. Hang on, Mac. Can you play FA and UA in the same deck? Nope. And there we go. I I didn't even have to ash him. FAs are just, uh, they'll just lose on their own, you know? <laughs> Connection failed. Well, there's another easy win.
Okay. They ash their own max C. Preda plant number one deck. Oh, high stakes. Win and we'll rank up. Are we already to a rank up? I haven't I haven't even like done anything yet. Okay, they're making us go second, which is fine. They lack critical information. These are our rank up shades, by the way. Uh-oh. No extra deck. That's not very good. I have stuff that specifically targets the extra deck, so if they don't have any, then a lot of my cards like Triff are just like kind of deadish. Just a little bit. I mean, we did start with Lightning Storm Instant Fusion, which is a pretty great combo. Oh, it flew under ease. Wait, was that March of the Monarchs? Excuse me? Oh. I'm honestly kind of surprised I haven't seen that in Flunder before. Just make everything invincible. Oh, okay. I see. So this is what a gold five bird dex looks like. Let's go. You know, I'm so glad we're playing two of these because if we were playing one, we would be bricking on it all over the place. Let's get rid of that spell trap, whatever it is. I'm not even worried about it being like, you know. Huh. I wonder why they didn't activate that. Okay, let's start with instant fusion. We're instantly fusing, baby. We can make Ambluo. And that's all she wrote. Lightning storm and instant fusion is all you need. And with that, we, we break up from gold five into gold four. Um, <laughs> you know, I knew gold was gonna be a little easier. I didn't think it would be this much easier. Holy. The, the absolute state of Master Duel right now. Uh, Duel 3 versus Gold Birds. <laughs> Make sure you show the rank up. Undefeated! What was their deck? It was Flunder. They saw the inst- they didn't even know what I was playing. Alright, we got an Ash. Special summon one Drytron from your deck. You know what? No. I refuse. Damn. I was hoping that would stop them, but it doesn't look like it's going to be stopping them. FAs, you know, FAs might be good with that new card, the one that's like, yeah, for the rest of this turn, you get two draws per turn and two normal summons, but you can't activate cards in the hand. They might have something that activates in the hand that they want, but I don't think they do. Nah, if that card was reciprocal, it would be broken. Having a lingering effect that just says your opponent can't activate hand traps for the rest of the turn, or for the rest of the duel, that's, that's too busted. <coughs> How is your headache? Gone. I just got a little cough.
time rendering Morganite. They summoned Idaten. Why? Does this do anything when summoned? Um, add one ritual spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Okay. And then tribute it off. If this card is tributed, all rituals gain a thousand. How's the climb going? Um, well, question mark? Summon Ben 10. How long did it take you to grow your beard? Like a year? It took a while. I'm teaching the plants to fusion summon. I don't know what's going on still, chat. They seem to be doing a lot of stuff and accomplishing not a lot of stuff. Okay, there's Beatrice. So now you can send a card to the graveyard. Another diamond, yep, should be out this weekend. I just need to record the ending part for it. Been waiting for my throat to feel better. Other than that, it's ready to go. Okay, so they are on Herald. This has no materials. I guess they could use it because it still has a thousand. But wait, doesn't ultimateness have two thousand? Yeah. IP. Okay. <coughs> Are you Sir Topham Hat? No. All right. Well, one of those is the ritual spell. So Masquerina and nothing else pass is not the most powerful of boards. They've spent a lot of time doing uh, a lot of nothing. I guess this is a gold Drytron player. <laughs> the, the way this face is looking at me, it's just kind of like, please, please, I've embarrassed myself in front of my family. Just surrender, please, so I can, so I can save some face. I have, I have a child at home. I can't let him see Papa look foolish. Help me. Throw a brother a bone. Yeah, there's no mercy in this dojo. I will crush you. I must break you. There can only be one. Bro, why are you stalling? Why are you mad at me? I didn't do anything. Usually the stall is like, you know, in response to like, I hate what you've done and I hate your board and I'm going to sit here until you time out. 
Well, there you go. Time limit win. Report for slow play. Sh sure. I'm not sure the report button actually does much of anything, but you know what, chat? That that was slow play. Actually, I am curious. Were they playing the world? They were not. This is this is just bad Drytron. Or good Drytron played badly. That is the fourth win. Uh-oh. Fifth duel, and they're making me go first. We've got another blind seconder over here. Hopefully we open with our, our more go-first combo tools. Uh, and we have. This is actually pretty great, I think. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon this. And we're going to activate this effect to try to fusion summon. You got a hand trap? No. Let's go for this and let's take the Triff. Why not? Or not the Triff, the Try. Triff is the fusion monster. This is Tri... Triantis. It's like a Mantis, but with fundamental differences. And this will help me chain block, which is cool. Oh wait, I did it wrong. So I won't be able to chain block. It's fine. They're not ashing it. Um, let's see. I've normal summoned already. So I think what I want to do is just get another Triantis on the field. Yeah, I think. Uh, no, actually, let's go for Biplus. Biplus. Uh, counter. Whatever, nerd. So this thing can tribute a monster to special summon a Preta plant from the deck. I think I showed this last time. But it never hurts to go over it again. We'll get the Orphis Scorpio. Orphis Scorpio will activate its effect. We'll discard Biplus. We'll special summon Darling Tonia Cobra. Do, 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 do. We'll chain block properly this time. We're going to get our try back so we can get the pendulum scales up. This will get, yeah, we're just going for ultra polymerization again. Instant fusion is good under certain conditions, but those conditions are not the ones we're facing. Uh, we make this. Let's just go in defense. Let's activate this, bring everything back. But it came back. We'll activate the boof. We've got the boof pack. We're getting lickish tonight. This is boofo lickula, you see. Um, we're going to go ahead and make Triff a thigh burn. And I think we're just going to save this. Yeah, because we could fusion summon again, but all we can make is Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon, which is not going to help us. This requires a fusion. I maybe could have uh, done that differently in a way that... Yeah, I could have... Okay, I could have ended on Dragos Topelia and that. See, I didn't practice the go-first combos. I probably should have. Hopefully this will be enough. 
And if not, you know, just like the last time where we played against the, 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 the self TK deck, we're searching a super poly. So we'll have that for next turn. Golden Castle of Stromberg. Somehow, chat, I don't think I'll be negating the summon of a monster from the extra deck. Nope, I'm definitely not doing that. Welp. Goodbye, Triff. You tried your best, and now you're back in the extra deck. Well, goodbye, called by. And that's my interaction. Now I just gotta hope they can't OTK me. Oh no. <coughs> Danger, Bigfoot. This can only make two attacks on monsters. Oh, but that is game. Yep. Even if I had had Dragostopelia, though, I don't think that would really have been able to help me all that much. Unfortunately, we're just not designed to, to go first. I don't know the combos very well. First loss, not bad. No, and I, I realize now what I did. Uh, I don't think we need to show that one, actually. I didn't really do it. I messed up the combo. Part of me is like, I need to show what's actually going on. And then part of me is like, people don't want to see the mess ups. They want to see stuff actually doing. All right, we're being forced to go first again, and oh boy, we don't we don't have much of anything going on. Um, we could do this. Uh, let me think for a second, and then add one Predap from our deck to our hand, except for Predap practice. Trying to figure out. I think we can do this. Okay, so let's try this. We'll add activate Predap practice. We'll special summon the Bislip. And then we get to add a card. And if we had another monster in hand, we would maybe add Orphis Scorpio, but instead we're gonna go for Clammy. Clam Demistu. We're going to normal summon. We're going to activate this effect to fusion summon. And that'll allow us to make the Amblu. I'm Amblu, da ba dee da ba die. Okay, and then we're gonna get two searches. Uh, this will search, and this will search. And I think what we wanna do is actually go for the trap. Uh, this can't search the trap though. So instead we're going to, it doesn't really matter what we discard because I can't use that more than once per turn anyway. Uh, let's get the, let's get the hand trap actually that might just be useful. And then this will search me the Preta planning. We're going to be planning something. Time for a game of disappearing bears. And just like before, we're gonna use this to get Orphis Scorpio. Hey there, it's Scorpio, doing all the things that we Scorpio know. And then we'll just discard this, which is why I said it didn't really matter. If Bifliss wasn't once per turn, we would've got that, but we, it is, so we didn't. Getting this, let's get the Ultra Polymerization yet again. 
activating this. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to make the Chimera Rafflesia just like before. We're going to activate the Ultra Polymerization, get everything back. And then we're going to make Darlintonia Cobra this time. Which is a fusion monster and I believe a dark monster, right? Yeah, fusion and a dark monster. So we'll use our fusion and it doesn't really matter. Let's just pick this. They're both at zero. Uh, and we're going to play it in defense just to play around Lightning Storm. And then we're going to set Preta Planning and the Cult Bot. All right, again, not great because this isn't a go first variant, but this time we've got basically at least two monster negates, potentially more. And these monster negates will also change their levels so we can mess them up if they're playing something like Sword Soul. And we'll have the super poly for next turn, assuming we survive. They did make us go first though, so the chance that we get like Lava Golem Lightning Stormed is critically Oh, pardon me. Critically high. Oh, this is pure Preta Plant. We're in gold. We don't need to bother them with branded. <coughs> Do you don't include branded cards? Uh, do you want to rephrase that a little bit? Fusion Gate! We're a fellow fusion aficionado over here, chat. Fellow fusion friends. During the main phase, you can fusion summon by using materials from their hand or field. Um, uh, okay. Cyber Dragons. This card is special summoned. Alright, that doesn't do anything. So unfortunately, the fact that the Predator counters have uh, changed levels don't really affect anything, unless they're going to Ixy summon. But it doesn't look like they are. It looks like they're Fusion summoning? Fusion Gate Sidra. Very interesting, but also kind of stupid. Three cars. They open with both the Cyber Dragons. <laughs> Cyber End Dragon! They are going to end it. It does piercing. Um, yeah, I have to put a counter on that so that I don't take all the damage. I kind of don't want to take all the damage. There you go. <laughs> Just a little bit of damage. I mean, it's still a 4,000 beast, so they've got that. <laughs> Oh, now I see why they normal summoned this. Its name is Cyber Dragon on the field, and this one needs three exact Cyber Dragons. Cyber Overload Fusion. Shuffling, ah, you can shuffle your banished cards back. I see, I see. Oh, this only negates the activated effects. It still pierces, chat. We're in danger. Oh, they can only attack with the monster summoned by Cyber Load Fusion. And they can't make another one of these because this card isn't Cyber Dragon while it's banished. It's Cyber Dragon hers. Rampage Dragon. They're going on a rampage, chat. Well, I mean, we can negate their activated effects now, right? Yeah. 
This is where we use Preta Planning. Time to plan things out. Let's send a card from our deck to the graveyard, probably Bipless because that gains effect when it goes to the graveyard. I believe. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Um, put a Predator counter on everything. And your effect is negated. And yeah, I do get Bipless. Yay. Um, and I think we're going to get this because it may just come in handy. I don't know what that last card is, but if they got something, they may have something. Ah, they think their activated effects aren't negated, chat. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that cute? Let's all laugh together. Oh, ho, 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 ho. stop, you're bullying. Don't do that. <laughs> That's rude. You don't know who this guy is or what they're going through. What if they're six? You don't want to laugh at no six-year-old. That's rude. Okay, well, they've killed my dude. My dude is dead and gone. But we have Super Poly and they have fusion monsters. Um, one of them is a dark fusion monster. Oh, hey, Ash. So, here's the thing, right? Is, um... Ah, okay. All right. Okay. All right, okay. Oh, wait, I can use fusion gate too? Well, that's kind of neat. That's, that's kind of neat. I like that I can do that. Let's go ahead and special summon the Bispliss. Bispliss. This guy. I just think he's neat. Uh, do we pay another thousand against the OTK deck? If we do, we could do some neat stuff. What's the alternative? We normal summon this. If this... The graveyard by a card effect... Can I OTK? Wait, um... Yeah! This'll be even better! Okay, we're gonna normal summon this. I could use your monsters for fusion material, but this is more funny. We're gonna super poly. We'll discard the lightning storm. And we're gonna use our three dark monsters on the field to make Trifa Thyburn. Who, if you recall, Gains attack equal to the original attack of all monsters with predator counters. Which means he's not just big, he's big, big, big. Also, when we summon a fusion monster, we can banish this and pop a card. So let's pop the fusion gate. And also when this is sent from the field to the graveyard, we could search a thing. So let's search a thing. I like to search things. Why wouldn't I? Um, is there anything worth searching is the question, and the answer is no? Probably not. It's a pity we had to use our normal summon, because if we could normal summon this, that would be very funny. But at least their fusion is gone, and we've got a very, very big thing. So let's attack over this. 7,000! All right, Cyber Dragon! In the battle of the fusion monsters, it would seem that the plants are bigger than the machines. What have you to say about that, hmm? Power bond, limit or removal. Everyone's praying for me to be proven wrong. But you see, I am channeling the user of the Preta Plants, who was a complete asshole in the anime. So I can't be proven wrong. Not even gonna shift to defense. Not even, they're just like, go go ahead, destroy me, king. I clearly, I'm too, too weak for this world. Let's just go in, let's end it all. The power of Trifa Thyburn. Attack for 7,000 and end this pitiful duel once and for all. That's right, pitiful. 
pathetic. It was limiter removal. <laughs> oh no. I'm in danger, chat. They've removed the limit. Well. Okay. So the duel's not over. Big whoop. You know what? You want to go? What do you want? An award? I'm gonna be fine about that. Check it out. If your opponent controls a predator counter, I get to summon this back. It just comes back. And it's still got all that attack. And I could summon this too. Yeah, let's do that. Let's summon some things out. Why not? And then... Um... Do I have anything else that acts acts as a, a negate or a disruption at all? No. No, I... Oh, wait. What is this? A dark fusion monster... But I need monsters with predator counters is the problem. Um... Yeah, and they're just going to be destroyed at the end of the turn, right? Because of limiter removal? And this can be destroyed, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. I'm not afraid of you. Go ahead. Just die. Just get out of here. I mean, yeah, I'm down to 3,000 now. I, I'm not as big, big, big as I want. I'm just regular big. But that's, that's fine. We don't need that to win. We're good. There's no way they can beat through our defense wall. We're too powerful. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Um, you could discard, special summon, target one machine, special summon it. What did they target? Uh, no. No, you're not allowed to do that. Get the fuck out of here. Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. You've been called by the grave, bitch. Activating it again. <laughs> Can you take a message? Ha 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 ha! The machines of men cannot hold up to the mighty power of nature. Over time, the creeping vine will strangle the life out of all that you hold dear. I am, I am way too cocky for having beaten a, a plat four, I'm sorry, a gold four cyber dragon deck. Um, I'm getting, it's, I'm getting into character, all right? It's, it's just a bit, just a bit. Um, two, zero, zero, dual six versus cyber dragon. Uh, lots of hype moments. Remember to cut out all the dead air. Make sure to do zooms and shit for emphasis. Also remember to cut. Okay. Yuri is evil. Yeah, I believe so. He was the evil Preta plant guy. He was all nefarious. I never saw the show, but that's what I assume from what I've seen of him. What is the hand pose the character does? Stop. Get out of there. Buddha praying hands thing. 
is it like a Naruto? Like, you know, who, 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 Lightning Chidori. Just both hands coming together. One of these. If you can find a picture on Google image searches, send it to me. Hey, kid, thank you for the gifted sub. All right, we're up against Labyrinth and they've got the field spell, which is something I was worried about. And I am worried about it. We're being worried about it. Worried out of 10, but I have, I have faith. All they can do is remove us from the field and they can't remove us forever. Let's try Orphis Scorpio. Let's discard the Biplis. I think that's, yeah, Biplisp. They have such weird names. I can't, I can't handle all the technical animal plant names. All right, we're gonna go for this. Howdy, howdy. We're going to um, chain block one of these and then one of these. The best of both worlds. Ha cha 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 cha. All right, so they've got the Welcome Labyrinth. That's going to pop one of the cards and then destroy something in our hand, I believe. <coughs> Hello. It's a lovely lady from the labyrinth. Okay, and what are we gonna get? We've already normal summoned. I think we just need this to go with the Bufo. We're getting boofy with it. Uh, mm, okay, so because we don't have two monsters on the field, we gotta go for the instant fusion this time. Although this is dark, so maybe Super Poly would have been the better choice now that I think about it for more than a second. We really just gotta hope they destroy this or this. Anything else is detrimental to our life. Oh, and they have Lord of Heavenly Sky Prison. I didn't even see that they had revealed that. I was too busy talking to chat about, about Naruto hand signs. They set Pot of Extravagance? They must be really confident about whatever that other set card is. Another one. Gee, Billy, how come you get two lovely lady labyrinths? No, my instant fusion, I wanted that. Why you gotta be so rude? Uh, pff, unfortunate. So let me think about this. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's gonna be difficult, but I think this might be the way to go. Okay, so we're going to pendulum scale Bufolicula. Ghastly Glitch. Ah, they're destroying the Bufo. They know. Um, I think we still know we don't have it. Damn. Because Predaplact practice locks us out of any monster except for fusions. If we had anything else. Uh, because there's no way we can make 
Yeah, we should have... Well, I don't know, even if we had searched Super Poly, right? They popped this out of the hand. They just got lucky with their one hand pop. If they had hit anything else, we'd be good. Um... Twenty four is not big enough. Yeah, I think we just pass on this for now. We're not quite out of it, but we're mostly out of it. I'll, I'll come back if we do something. Why not just go for practice? I mean, I could put this on the field, but I wouldn't be able to do anything with it because I can't link summon. Oh, this does search, doesn't it? I'm dumb. I always forget it does that. For some reason, I always think this just special summons from the hand. I think we still lose regardless. No, we don't. Because we've got this! When your opponent declares a direct attack, special summon it! Oh, they can activate this this turn? I thought when this was destroyed by a card effect, I could search. Oh, I can search. But I can't search another copy of itself. Yeah, we're just dead. Rip. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Just making sure my counting is right. Yeah, the card does do some it's it's a battle fader. It doesn't end the battle phase, but whatever attacks it gets destroyed. It also destroys itself, and when it's destroyed by a card effect, it searches. So it does a lot. All right, I'm going first. I've got instant fusion, so there's that, but if they have any hand trap, I'm just I'm just screwed. Especially if it's Max C and I think they have Max C. No, they don't have Max C. All right. Let's activate this. Let's search um I think we go for this in this case. Yeah, if this is sent from the hand, or from the field to the graveyard. So we can tribute this off and use that to search the Orphis Scorpio. And that maintains this on board, which is very important because now we have a fusion monster to use for things. 
Um, send to the graveyard. We'll send this. And then we'll activate this. So they can't ash the Orphus Scorpio. We'll go ahead and search the trap while we're here. We'll use this to get Darling. And then we can chain block the Darling Tonia with the buy splits we, we discarded. Chain blocking all over the place. You cannot stop me, I'm too strong. Let's get Bufo. And let's get Ultra Polymerization. Ultra, Ultra, Ultra. Um, okay, let's activate the Ultra Polymerization. Let's get... I think we get this right now. Yeah, we'll use this and this. I mean, I guess it doesn't really... Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Because that's better to get. Then we ultra polymerization and bring everything back. They've they've got they've got Nibiru. And I don't think we have anything that stops Nibiru necessarily. We do, actually. We do, but it ain't easy. It's this. But in order to make this, we need to spread some predator counters first. And I'm not sure we can do that. Not easily anyway. Uh, oh, we could do both, okay. No, cause this requires a dark, this requires two fusion monsters. So we need Diffusion first, and then do that. Um, okay. So what we're going to do... Yeah, we're gonna do this. We're going to do this. We're going to Pendulum Shokan because we can. Get this useless thing out of my hand. And there's the Nibiru. That's gonna be a big Nibiru token. Yep, that's a big Nibiru token. Um, the question is, what can we do? We could still fusion summon from here, but we're very limited. I think it's just greedy venom. And banish one from your graveyard. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna have to go for that. It's not great, but it might work. So let's activate Bufo Licula. Let's get this and we're going to use both our pendulum scales attack mode and then we're going to activate both of these bufo when it's used as material allows us to get another pendulum and add it back to our hand so we'll just get the triantis back very nice and then Triantis will put Predator Counters on this. And uh, let's put one on this too. Level one rocks. You know, as you do. Uh, what are the things on Verte actually? Two effect monsters, damn. Um, yeah, while we're here, let's just go ahead and make you zero, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> just get crungled. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. Just get another monster on the field. More defense for the defense gods. And then we've got this. Uh, what's it saying? Yeah, we can make those. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, we're not fine. 
Oh, that doesn't stay. Okay, well. But yeah, this is... If this card is destroyed, destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, then I can banish a level 8 or higher dark monster from the graveyard and special summon this. And this is level 8. So basically, if they destroy this, we get to wipe their entire field and summon it back. Oh? Gotcha. To Kaiju. Go second deck. I understand. Read Anima? Why? It has to target a monster it points to. It doesn't point to anything. We're equal! Alright. So they're gonna hit that. And then you're gonna crash? Oh no, they're destroying this. I mean, that's even better. This thing on my turn can just make you zero and attack over you. Oh. Oops, all kaijus, eh? Okay, in the end phase, we're gonna go ahead and activate this. Because we wanna get, we have another one of these in hand and we wanna be able to use that search next turn. So we're just gonna do that now. Use this to get a search. We're going to get, we're gonna get Climb Domestu. Maybe Bufo would have been better, but this is more fun. Gee, Billy, how come we've got three Triantis? Maybe three is too many. And they're just gonna surrender, unfortunate. But yeah, they've got predator counters and that thing can fusion summon with monsters that have predator counters. Although now that I'm thinking of it, they had two light monsters and I don't think I could have made anything with their light monsters. Um, let me look at my deck real quick. What did I already use? Can't make that, that's two Preta plants. That requires a dark, that requires darks. Oh wait, I forgot. This also says, um, monsters with predator counters are treated as dark when you use them for fusion material. So never mind, we had them. We absolutely could have cleared their entire field and made Triff using their two monsters and our clam. So they were, they were, they were just dead, dead, dead. Super dead. Two twenty dual eight versus kaijus question mark why are you only using one lone fire because you don't actually want to normal summon anything like So the thing about this deck, right, is that you don't really want or need to normal summon. Uh, you're already playing this as a normal summon, and I guess this... Maybe I could take out one of these and add in another lone fire. That might work. But this is very risky, because um, it gets hit by, like, every hand trap, every bit of removal possible. You would rather just fusion out of your hand with everything. You should put in Link Karibo instead of Anima for situations like that. How could I have made Verte? I can't use the token to make Link Karibo. Oh wait, because it's level one, I guess? I honestly don't think there's very many options or very many occasions where I'm going to be having a Nibiru token that also has a predator counter on it that I want to use. This is a go second deck. I'd rather, I'd rather have that. Maybe in the go first version. And yeah, this is number three, Cicada King. Two level threes. 
Easy to make with Orphis, Scorpio, and Darlingtonia. Gives you a negate on the field. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe you remove one of these down and add in another Lone Fire. Possibly. Can you play more Floodgates? No. Oh, we're up against a cool guy. Chat, you're not gonna believe how cool this guy is. Look at him, cool guy. He's got a hat and glasses. His name is even cool guy. What more could you want? Or start climb when? Never. Never ever. Oh no! I'm in danger! I opened Max C against one of the worst decks to open Max C with. Goddess Scold. Look at the top three cards and place them in any order. I was like, so I can top deck Lightning Storm and then I'd be good. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're not going to, <laughs> they're not going to let me draw Lightning Storm. They're going to keep everything off Lightning Storm. Instead, they're going to make sure that I draw an Ash Blossom. Well, I guess they're not searching. Now, the fortunate thing is that we opened with uh, an Orphus Scorpio. So, I guess we're, we're just going to discard Max C. Who needs it? Not me. Don't do anything. Neither player can banish cards. That's probably the best thing I could see them flip up, because that does not impact me in any meaningful way. You cannot hurt me in a way that matters. Unless you have Nibiru. If you have Nibiru, I'm going to cry. Um, let's go for Ultra Polymerization. Nibiru simply does not exist. Oh wait, we can't banish cards. Fuck. So basically, this is just regular polymerization. I forgot I had one card that banishes itself. Yeah, in this case, it's just regular polymerization, but it costs me life points. At least the duel won't be as long. Okay, let's add Bufo off of this. Yeah. Then we can Preta Practice, because I ain't making Verte this turn. We're going to Special Summon this. Ha-cha-cha, I'm a Fern. Um, let's grab Try. Then we can activate this. We'll send this off to Special Summon from the deck. And we'll Special Summon this. That'll get us another search. We're going to get this one, of course. And let's see how we can do this, right? We'll activate this first and we'll make... Oh, hey! Um... You draw cards up to the number used from the hand, destroy cards up to the number used on the field. So we can get rid of that. Uh, okay. Let's use this, um, this, and Ash Blossom. Good old Ash Blossom. Check it out, I'm a Chimera. Um, what do we add from deck to hand? Does it matter? No. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. And I can't use Chimera because it was not summoned with a spell card. Oops. Oopsie doodle. I wet my poodle. Okay, I think, I think we're good anyway. 
We're going to Pendulum Summon. Get this last guy out here. And this is important because now we've got three monsters on the field. So we can use this, this, and this to make Trifa Thyvern. And then the Mantis will spread three Predacounters. We can get Predacounters on everything. And they knew, darn, I wanted to see how big, the, I like the big number. But yeah, we put Predacounters on Chimera and the, the, the Ambo. And then this thing gains 4,300 attack in addition to the 3,000. So we get big, very big. I'm glad. Fortunately, they were playing the, the one, the one floodgate that doesn't hurt us. If that had been like a skill drain, I would have been very screwed. Big screwed out of 10. <laughs> uh, do we need to show that? Yeah, that's a funny jump scare. Duel. <coughs> Duel 9 versus Burn. I wonder if they were. Mystic Mine at home. They're ready for Labyrinth, and they're ready for Runic. And they're playing Mystic Mine at home. Good old Fire Prison. And Messenger of Peace, too? Why not? Not to mention Fossil Dyna with fucking Dimension Guardian. You do a good job of making chat feel a part of the stream. That's I. That's what I aim for. I was always, when I first started streaming, right, I never got into streams because my stream experience was always like hopping into someone who had like 200 viewers and like saying something and just being completely ignored. Or even hopping into a stream with like 10 people and like it's two guys on camera just talking with each other, ignoring chat. So when I started streaming, I was like, I, it's got to be about the interaction. That is the only thing that makes this special compared to a, a, a an edited video. You're going to come out here, you're going to get that experience. So I try to answer and respond. And fortunately, y'all are so chill. The, 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 the chat isn't like going by. Also, holy shit, we've got 400 people here today. Hello everyone, are you all familiar with the YouTube? Are you here from the YouTube? Or are you just stumbling on seeing what Master Duel streamers are around? Legacy pack opening when? When I need it, I open them. You get tired of Meyer Sardic? I didn't even know that was more than once. <laughs> Wangahoo stun, yeah. But I want to be ignored. Well, you could be ignored too if that's what you want, you know. I just try to be different. I am indeed a YouTube frog. <coughs> Preta plant, best deck. We're here for you. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling better than I was. I was really sick this weekend. I spent um new year's eve just like uh passed out drifting in and out of consciousness with a fever all right one more win and we're out of we're out of gold four let me try that again all right one more win and we're out of gold four we're ready also thank you Sword Do Blades 23 for the five gifted subs. And if you didn't get one, you gotta type evaded in the chat. I don't make the rules, I just claim to make the rules. If you didn't get one, go ahead and show it off. Hit everyone with those dabs in the chat. But yeah, we've got our cool guy shades on. We're ready. The guy's name is Dark Lord, so presumably they're playing Dark Lords. If we can hit Ixshell with a with an ash, that would be a very good start. Otherwise, this is not a great hand unless they exactly put on the materials to make something like a Trifa Thyvern. Like, if they're playing a dark deck, this is really good. Um, this is not Dark Lord. 
This is runic. So they're special summoning Huggin. Get some Huggin and kissing and hugging and doing some things. And they're going to add, and I'm going to be like, nah, I don't want you to have that field spell. Get that field spell out of my face. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something else. Unfortunately, this super poly is not going to be working very great. But if they don't already have the field spell or a way to search it, and they set the rest of their hand, then this lightning storm is going to be very effective. Wait, no, because they can use Huggin to stop it from being destroyed. I forgot about the Hoogin. I'm a Hooganin. Um... Do I have anything I can do with this? Anything I can super poly. Wait, this is a fusion monster. A uh, fusion monster and a preta plant. Hell yeah, okay. Normal summon Sacria. Time to get Saki. <laughs> All right, let's super polymerization. And we're gonna discard the Bipliss because I wasn't going plus enough. So let's just use this and use this. And we're gonna make a dang old Drago Stapelia. And then because Bipliss was sent to the field and this was sent to the graveyard, I'm gonna get two searches. Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two searches? Whoever's editing this, if you go and put it, put it that mean, the kid holding the hot dogs. I don't know why, but that just, that just tickles my funny bone. Um, let's see here. What are we gonna get? I think it's just, it's just Bufo and friends, right? We've already normal summoned. Yeah, we just want to do this. We just want to get big number as fast as we can. So we'll get that, and we'll get this. And then we'll just activate them. Each one will be activated different from the last. It's a pity this lightning storm. Yeah, we couldn't have used it because if we they would have tributed the Hoogan and then we wouldn't have had the ability to super poly them. Maybe lightning storm isn't the way to go. Maybe we should play uh, Dimension instead. I could Pendulum Summon the Ash Blossom. I don't think I want to. Let's go ahead. We're just going to Fusion Summon using our scales. Um, I'm going to allow them to draw one. I think that's fine. I need to target my, my stuff to specifically keep them off the field spell so they can't draw. Um... So we've got the two on the field. I think the biggest thing we can make is this, the 3300. Yeah, let's just do these. It's me, Greedy Venom. And then we'll activate both these effects, just getting some stuff and doing some things. And unfortunately you're seeing the problem I talked about where it's like all our monsters are really good against other monsters. Not so much against anything else. So we get Tritantis back. We spread a couple Predator counters, you know, just for whoever. If we ever get the, the Trifathiverm, then we'll be good. Um, and let's go ahead and attack. We'll get in for 2700. We'll get in for 3,300. And then we'll just end our turn. We don't want to give them another draw by summoning out Biplisp. Hopefully these will survive. And we've still got the Ash to stop them when they try to go for the field spell again. Oh no! They already have the field spell! They have to have a runic they can activate, though. 
Uh, target one monster on the field. The next time that monster would be destroyed. Oh, they're just going to special summon one. <coughs> Unfortunate. They get... Jerry. <coughs> and then they're going to try to draw three. And I'm going to be like, nah. Nah, no drawing three on my watch. Not while I'm here. Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. I opened with two ash. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? Cyber Valley. Um, well, you know, if anything, that seems like something I would want to negate the activated effects of. <coughs> Enjoy Predator Counters. And, uh, yeah, I think that wins the game. I think that wins the game. There's, uh, unless this destroys one of these, and then they can draw three, I think we're just good, because... Their effects are negated, so I can just attack on in. Unless, does this tribute his cost? It tributes his cost. Um, what does this do? If this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Damn. Yeah, that does suck. I forgot Jerry popped a card. Oh, and it ends the battle phase. Fuck. Oh, I have I have massively screwed up. I have made an unexpected error. This is not good. Um, I can still do. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon Vice Bliss. I could have negated this too, and I didn't even think about it. No, they start to summon. Well, I'm gonna do this before they can negate me. Okay, we summon this. Yep, unfortunately you just need a way to get rid of Fountain and I don't have a way. Uh, we're gonna normal summon. So banish five. All right. We're going to, oh wait, I forgot I was playing this. Yeah, one second. Uh, what does this do? Can I be destroyed if this is, uh, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna make Nightmare Phoenix. If I was smart, I would have done this in main phase one. And I just got too confident. I didn't read the cards. Uh, let's discard this, because I'm never not going to be able to use it. Widow Anchor? I mean, I guess that does it. Unfortunate. Uh, make Verte and then what? Nothing. Damn. I think we may have lost this one, unfortunately. Overconfidence was my downfall. I'll come back if I happen to beat them, but now that they've got the advantage, I think they're just rolling on down the line.
My last ash is gone. Do I have anything that does piercing? No. And I don't think I can make this. There goes my instant fusion. The pendulum fusion has piercing. I need two pendulum monsters. Um. Okay, I think I could try to do that. Time to make Verte! Rural. What's up? Um, wait, why didn't this activate? It was sent from the field to the graveyard. Oh, by a card effect. Son of a bitch. Um, what in the scallop? Uh, I need to do piercing and I can't do piercing... I can make it dark. If this is summoned by a spell card or effect, but it won't be a spell card or effect. Can't use super poly on it anyway. Oh, I can't target? Oh, okay. They're all dark. I thought all the uh, runics were light. Supreme King does piercing. Yeah, I need two pendulums though, which means I need Bufo. And I have no way to, s I thought I could search Bufo, but I cannot. I'm playing against the worst runic deck too. I was gonna be like, how are you still in gold, Runic? Now I see. Scrap Iron, Scarecrow, Marshmallow. Widow Anchor.
Still haven't lost any Bufos, so there's a chance I draw it, and maybe they just don't have anything to stop it. Um, activate the effect. You've been negated. Storming Mirror Force. Well, if I draw my last... No, all my lightning storms are gone. Yeah, there's no point. He's got the attack negate. Doesn't matter how bad the jank is when it draws three cards per turn. Soul Levy, there can only be one. Two DD Dynamite. My brother in Christ, your win condition is mill. You don't need burn cards. Just one, as a treat. Even though, okay, it's a set spell trap card. Uh, it depends what you think is fun. I like the challenge. My problem is not with challenging decks. My problem is with uh, Master Duel Konami's complete inability to, to host a good ban list. So it's like that, is it? We've all been there. We've all had one bad day. This time, that bad day has to do with Runic. Drag down to the grave to get rid of the ash. Well, I drew into Bufo. Um, I think you might be dead, son. I think you might just be a wee bit dead. Um, one second. No, this doesn't destroy field spells. Okay, let's... Activate this. Let's pendulum scale this. And then let's activate the Bufo effect. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a uh, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. Using this and this. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Um, can only activate monster effects up to the type. Uh, so no, I don't want to activate either of these because I want to use Greedy Venom 
and just negate you. Thank you. Now I'll activate Preta Practice. Now that I can activate monster effects to my um, heart's content, I'll summon this. I'll add a Vice Bliss. When this is summoned, I can discard the Vice Bliss I just added. I'll go ahead and summon a uh, Darlingtonia Cobra. That's pretty neat, right? Let's just use both of those effects, if and you don't mind. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to get another Trifathiverm. And we're going to get, um, this is a light monster. I think we're gonna get Ultra Polymerization. All right, we're going to put this in the Pendulum Scale. We're going to activate Ultra Polymerization. I'm going to use these three dark monsters. Excuse me? Oh, only using two monsters. Oopsie doodle. I have made a, a wee bit of an oopsie. Just a little poopsie doopsie oopsie. Uh, I think we're fine though. We're going to use these two. We're going to make this. This thing will use its effect, and we're going to get the Clammy Man. The Clammy Man can. Uh, let's just use that Ultra Polymerization, if you don't mind. And actually, I didn't need the Clammy Man because I was just going to tribute this off and summon one from the deck anyway. Wait, I haven't used this yet? No, let's go for this, shall we? Normal summon. Then we'll use this effect. And now we'll make this. Using this and this and one of these. Just for fun. Because I want to spread predator counters, chat. I want to put predator counters on every last card. I want everyone to know that Predators are here and they're doing a lot of damage, you know? It's coming in. You get a Predator counter. You get a Predator counter. You get a Predator counter. Everyone gets a Predator counter. <coughs> uh, let's search our trap. Anyway, uh, 10,000 to zero. GG. GG. <coughs> Big number. 10,000. Oh, whoops. I forgot the... the, the, the runic duel. <coughs> 256. Uh, duel... What was that, 11? Have I like gotten eight wins so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. Duel 11 versus runic. I'm gonna call it bad day runic. Uh, two, forty-ish. I forgot to write down the time, but it's dual ten verse runic. So right after the ninth duel. lost episode okay we'll do one more i really want to get a cup of tea to soothe my sore throat but we, we, we gotta get we're we're going up we're ranking up baby let's go ranking bass we're prepared going second versus link 
7. Will they actually make a Link 7? Is that way their way of telling us that they're at Ignister? Or is it just, is just a random name that means nothing? Most of the names seem to mean nothing. All right, well, we, we open with Orphis, and we open with Bufo, and we open with this thing. I've, I've yet to use this thing. Um, during the main phase, if a card was activated this turn, you could target one other face-up card in the spell trap zone, destroy it. This is our out to, um, like, floodgates and stuff. All right. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, yeah, at the risk that this is a floodgate exactly. No, it's solemn judgment. All right. Well, that just happened. Oh, and Arlequino too? Amazement. I don't think I've ever faced this deck. Banish any number of attraction traps, target that many cards, destroy them. If a trap card is activated, you could special summon this from the hand. Okay, so this does nothing then? I think this does nothing. So, Pendulum Scale. Oh. Oh, you've got... <laughs> Alright! This is tech cards among tech cards. They're making a level 10 Synchro, so... Shen Shen. No, a level 9, sorry. Alright. Uh, Pendulum Scale. We're good. Uh, do we want to Pendulum Summon this? Probably not. No, I think we're good. Let's just activate this effect, shall we? Uh, let's make... Greedy? Yeah, let's get a little greedy, shall we? Bufo and this. They get banished, so we don't get their effects. But I can just target you and be like, nah. Go to zero and be negated, please. Um, and then now we'll special summon this. Because we wanted to search. I have already normal summoned, but it doesn't matter. They don't know that I'm out of plays. They think I'm going to continue to extend to eternity. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna call that a win as we rank up into gold three. <coughs> okay. So this is three hour mark duel 12 verse amazement, I think, question mark? You know what, amazement, I think? It looks like some kind of weird control deck, perhaps. IDK for sure, but something along those lines. Be like, Jules, put all of that in when you edit. All right, we're still doing pretty good. Uh, let, yeah, let's see what that was real quick. The fuck? It was Buster Blader the whole time? Uh, all right. Buster Blader with amazement and a right geki. Um and trap trick and DNA surgery. Gotta make everything dragons. The deck, that surely is one of the decks of all time. Hell yeah, we've got everything except we haven't destroyed enough cards. Bustin' makes me feel good. Arlequino, probably. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, what's all these post on thing? Okay. So chat, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make a cup of tea real quick. I'm, I've been I've decided for this year. I'm gonna try to start drinking tea more and less soda because it's probably better for my throat. While I do that, normally when I leave, I put on a song, but this is gonna be a little bit later. And also, lately, people have been talking about AI art and stuff. Um, that's been a the curious topic. And I was talking to someone about it, and I was like, oh yeah, it's like that, that video from CPG Grey, Humans Need Not Apply. And they're like, what? I haven't seen that one. And I'm like, you haven't? It's got like 15 million views. It's like 10 years old at this point. It's, it was very big when it came out. So I feel like in the discussion of AI, it's important to keep a lot of this stuff in mind. Because this is a video that was, again, made eight years ago, way before AI art took over, but it, it has stuff to say about it because it was very uh, researched at the time. So I figure it's like 15 minutes. We're already going to go a little bit late. It's going to take me at least like five to make tea. So we can all just watch this while I'm gone, and then we'll have a little discussion when we come back, maybe, if, it, if it, it's curious. I'll drink my tea, and then we'll we'll do a couple more duels for another hour or so after that. How does that sound, chat? We'll put that here. And um, let's also turn down the music from this. And let me go ahead also and put this up here, BRB tea time. I'm also probably gonna use this chance to use the restroom real quick. Just so people know why we're not doing Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment, it's, it's tea time. You've already seen this video, you could use this chance to go to the restroom yourself or get some tea or just rewatch it. Okay. Yay. Ah, Thank you, Ferret Fiend, for the eight months. I appreciate the effort. The donations. He said the thing. Long and short, we're fucked. We're not fucked. We're only fucked, um... Kazooie, thank you for the 40 months. With AI catching up so fast and automation rising, I don't think capitalism is something that is sustainable. That, that, that's more, that's the big thing is, especially eight years ago, he didn't really have the, the courage to say like, well, what should we do? How do we solve this problem? He's just like, well, you know, a bunch of people will be unemployed and it won't be because they're lazy. What are we going to do about that? Um... And the answer is we, we give them the stuff they need to survive. We move away from a system where you need to have a job. Because in the future, there might be, and I don't even mean like the far future, I'm talking about like 50 years from now, 100 years from now, automation and AI might be so good at so many things and so easy to produce that we, we only need like a small percentage of the population to work. Or more likely, we could have like 90% of the population work and have them work like one or two hours a day. We could split up the jobs that still need to be done among everyone. And instead of paying people by the hour, we just pay people a livable wage to do whatever small amount of work needs to be done. Are they a socialist now? No. They're a lib, yes, very much so. It's as sustainable as the politicians think they are. They're just slave labor that we don't have to pay. Exactly. But I mean, that's that's the thing, right, where you, you think about... Um, like right now, when you talk about how, how wage labor works in general, right? You'll be like, 
Yeah, so what happens is, if say you work for a fast food restaurant, right? You go into McDonald's. I worked fast food for like 10 years, and I've, I've helped count money at the end of the shifts. I've seen that like, I'll go in, and at the end of a dinner shift, we will have made eight, nine thousand dollars Well, there's 10 people on board, and each person that day made, what, like $70, $100, if you count all our, our stuff together and our food? So we made 8,000 and they paid us about a thousand, maybe 2,000 if you include the manager. If you include like the food and the breaks and everything, uniforms or whatever. They paid us 2,000, but we did $8,000 worth of work. And who gets that other $6,000? Well, the people who own the restaurant. And what work did they do? They didn't. They didn't invent McDonald's. They didn't come up with any of this stuff. They didn't even hire us. They paid someone else to hire us. They didn't build the building. The building was already there. Most of the time, it was people who already had money from a previous generation or who inherited it. They just bought something and now they own it. And that means that they get to make the money while the people who do the work don't get to. And for a lot of people, they're still fine with that. They're like, well, you know, if you were as talented as the people at the top, you could all own the McDonald's, ignoring the fact that like, it would be literally like, let's say everyone was as talented as the McDonald's owner. The economy wouldn't work if everyone tried to buy a McDonald's at once. Even if everyone was a genius, 90% of us would still have to work there. It, 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 it's literally not a matter of talent. It's a matter of who already had money and who was in the best position to get there first. But the point is people are still, people are still fine with that. I think because a lot of them believe that one day they'll be at the top, you know, one day they'll be the owner and then people will be working for them and they can kick their feet up while they make money, which is very greedy and short-sighted, but whatever, that's, I guess, how it goes. But the thing about AI, right, is that in the future, it won't be a person owning a restaurant and a bunch of people working. It'll be a person owning a restaurant and a bunch of robots. And we'll reach a point where whoever owns all the AIs, whoever owns all the robots, they, they own everything. They control everything. If we give these people too much power, they will cement their spot as the owner of the robots and they will pretty much dominate all of society. Why do we need human owners? We don't. That's that's whole that's my whole thing is economic democracy. It's it's we don't need owners. It should be the you know, McDonald's should be a an institution. It should be like a country onto itself almost. Like, no one owns America. No one should own McDonald's. The people who work there should decide, like, who's the manager? Who leads it? How much do we charge? How much do we get paid? We'll decide things democratically. They can hire more people. You know, new people will retire. Old people will retire. New people will come in. But who actually owns it? No one. We all own it. Everyone owns it. Can we make a robot union? Robo-revolution. <laughs> we need doggo owners. I own food, so my house is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> robot owners for robots. Dipping sauce and shit like that that people do? Question mark. Director's commentary? <laughs> but yeah, so that's like, if you ever, if you ever talk to me, um, people have asked me where I think about AI art. It's like, I don't know what to say, man, because it's like, people be like, oh, we need legislation. Oh, we need to stop the... The, the, the AI from, we need to work out like who owns the rights and how people can still get paid. And I'm like, you're just looking at a band-aid solution. 
Like, you can do that stuff, and I guess it's probably good to, 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 you know, to prevent harm if you can. If you're in that industry, do whatever you can, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blame you for trying to, to make a living at what you're doing. But I think the important part is to get everyone on board with the fact that what we should really be doing is looking at the overall system because eventually everyone's going to be in that same boat or not everyone but the vast majority of people are going to be in that same boat where it's literally working is not sustainable you you won't be able to do it <laughs> even if you want to even if you have talent because it'll just be cheaper and easier and faster to have it automated and so perhaps we should come up with a system where people are just given what they need to survive and they don't have to work for a living. Or at least they don't have to work for someone else. They don't have to work for wages. Get a more utilitarian system. Band-aid solutions, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the thing to me is they're like you can't you're you can't possibly stop AI art. There's already, I've seen people getting into problems where like someone posts their artwork and they get banned from a forum because the, the, the moderators are like, yeah, you can't post AI art here. And they're like, this is my art. And they're like, well, it looks like AI art. So if you don't want to get confused for AI, you know, change up your art style. And be like, you know, that that's like, it reminds me to bring it back to Yu-Gi-Oh, those people who try to make their own formats and they ban everything that's meta, and they're like, there, now there's no best deck. It's like, yeah, there is. The, nest, the, be the best deck is just the next best deck. You can keep banning stuff, but you're never going to solve the problem of there being an optimal solution. You know, you can change your art style, you can try to legislate this and legislate that, but people are just gonna keep finding workarounds for it. They're gonna keep finding ways to make it go. One way or another, it will happen. Yeah, most of these programs are feeding up. See, that's another thing though too, is that like, you know, right now, a lot of the AI works by getting other people's art and mix and matching it. But that's not always going to be how AIs work. Or rather, you might come to a prob thing where like, Okay, well, we're no longer using uh, regular art to, to make the AI art. Instead, we're using AI-generated art. How many steps removed do you have to be? How many people's art do you have to mash together to make a specific thing? You didn't earn that food, yeah. Not if we ban every card, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the, the other thing I'm worried about, right? Is that when you, when you talk about a, a, an economy that's driven by automation and AI, there's, you're gonna reach a thing where, yes, every business is run by uh, robots or operated by robots. Like you go into a store, it's just robot stocks, stock keepers, robot security, robot cashiers or whatever, everything's automated. There's no one working at the store. Um, who's going to buy the stuff at the store? The only solution is to elect Joe. Hello, Farfa Arc 777 robot sex workers. Yeah, it's like there's, you know, people, you're gonna reach a point where we have the ability to produce a lot and no one's going to be able to buy everything. And there's basically two solutions to that, right? There's the, the utopia solution where we're like, oh, okay, well, we have the ability to produce abundance. We might as well just give everyone everything. And then what little we do need to work on, we can, you know, divvy that up cooperatively. Or there's the, the private, like, greedy solution where you have these big business owners who have millions and millions of dollars and they now have machines that can do all their work for them. Right now, they need an underclass of people because they need stuff to sell their products to. 
They need people to build their cars and maintain their roads because if they want to live a life of luxury, you know, you need the little people, the, the, the workers to build that for you. But if you have robots that can do you for, do that for you, how long is it before they're like, why do we need the underclass? Why do we need poor people? And if they can convince you that the people at the bottom are there because they didn't work hard enough or because they're genetically inferior or because of something else, then you run into the real big problem. The problem where we realize 90% of the population can't be used to make a profit and the people with all the robots and power and money decide they're like, well, we should just get rid of the, the, the dead weight. <laughs> you can have a cyberpunk dystopia that gets real dark real quickly if you allow private ownership of big, huge, automated global systems. I don't think that'll happen in our lifetime necessarily, but it'd be one of those things where I feel like I could write a novel about it and maybe like my children would be like, man, he could see the future with that. <laughs> you can use their sweet, sweet organs. Put a battle royale. Current robots aren't good enough, but how long until they are good enough? Like that would ever happen. You're planning on having kids? Uh, well, I'm open to the idea. But anyway, that's that's your, your interesting philosophical... I'm not sure if I would even necessarily... I guess it is a political chat. But like I often say, just about everything can be made political. Just about everything is political in some way. The price of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is determined by, you know, local taxes and stuff like that. Whether or not you can buy them depends on gambling laws. Like everything can, can be political, is political. But it's nice to take a little break from Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, and talk about some real shit. Even if it costs me about a hundred viewers. Uh, okay. We're going back in. <coughs> Do you think you'll add Branded? If I get into Diamond. Politics is society. Oh, hey, we open with polymerization. And another Darlingtonia. Virtual world? How retro? Uh, no. I don't want you to have that. Don't you called by. Okay, they don't have called by, but they probably have max C. Which may be a problem, because ultra polymerization is useless unless I can summon like twice. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Instant fusion. Hell yeah. Yep, they're just max C and. Um, what are the chances they can OTK? What are the chances I can OTK? Okay, so my worry here is this, if this is the... If this is the gate, then next turn they flip it up and then they can activate all the virtual worlds in their hand. If I just go for it, I might be able to OTK them if that's all this is. But if this is something more, if this is a forbidden droplet, then I might be screwed. Let's go for it. Maxi challenge. Oh, ahoy. It's the maxi challenge. Bah. Make or break time. We're going to be breaking it or we're going to be making it. Yeah, someone's in chat pointing out, like, if that is the gate and they have one VW, it's like an OTK if I pass. <coughs> oh, okay. Well. Easy peasy. 
Maxi challenge completed. Okay, where's the 10 wins? We're in the double digits, baby. It's a pity. When we rewatch this back, we can see their hand, right? I'm curious to see if we were correct. Oh, we can't. Sadness. We'll never know. Nick makes plays. Welcome with a braiding party of 25. Let's get some cats in the chat for our raiders, shall we? Have a good one. I tip my hat to you. Good sir? I assume it's sir. Nick's usually like a guy's name. If I'm wrong, correct me, and I will make a correction. Indeed. Ha ha! My ability to guess has n is, is unparalleled? I don't know why I made that a question. <laughs> I tip my cat to you. My maxi is useless. Oh, it's Labyrinth. I'm tempted with how god awful this hand is to just like surrender now because this is this is not good. Backjack pass. He's going back. Jack, we'll do it again. We've got the back, Jack, baby. Ugh. If I can resolve this, I might just have it. They're allowing it. Goodbye. All right, let's get the Orphis Scorpio. Discard the Darling. Summon the Darling. Inperm? Why are you playing Inperm in this deck? Welp. Bum 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 ba da dum. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind, I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. All I know, time is a valuable thing. Watch it count down by the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day, the clock takes life away. It's so unreal, didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Tried to hold on, didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you fall. Aha, but what if I were to super poly you? What then? This is a certified Max C moment. I'm starving for that venom. Give it to me. Big dragon. I don't think this saves me, but uh, you know, it does something. Please destroy the other Preta practice. Oh, they can just destroy that. All right. Uh, no. No, I'm not gonna allow you to do that. Get that shit out of my face. Let's 
Oh, they can use both effects. Ha! It wasn't a trap! <coughs> to hit the lady effect? No. They get to look at the top of their deck and shuffle, though. Well, we still probably lose, but we made them sweat a little bit. We didn't give up. We didn't surrender. They've got Ariane on top. Nope. They drew a trap card. All right. All we need is, um... I don't think anything gets us out of this. That's a pretty good top deck. Not gonna lie. Because now we can use Preta Practice. We can special summon this. The fuck? Um. Okay. The Ark. We'll summon this. And then we'll add. Um, I don't think it matters. Let's just add this for now. If you play a spell, he'll get three negates. I mean, I'm not playing a spell. Wait, actually... Oh, wait, no. Because of this, I'm locked into... I can't Link Summon this turn. Uh, alright. Wait, I thought this went back. End phase of the next turn. Oh. Oh, I'm taking a big damage. Aha! It's me! A tiny plant! What you think about that? Now we're both destroyed! Pendulum Zone. Um, let's go for... Fuck. Let's go for fuck. Oh, uh, let's get this. If we get any other Preta plant, we, we're into combo. Although I think Welcome Labyrinth already pops everything. So we need like Lightning Storm. Yeah, let's just pass for now. Oh, is that why they do it? That's a very long... Yeah, I think I lose then. Unless I get exactly Lightning Storm. Another one.
Battle Fader, he's fading your battles. Buy all our play sets and toys! Pop, pop! Get that shit off my field! Give me another card. Uh, let's go for this. Okay, I need Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm, and then I'm free to do whatever I want. Come on! Oh, Holy Spirit, bring me the Lightning Storm! The power of Thor flows through my veins to summon the Lightning! Prepare yourself! Welcome to Metallica! Ride the Lightning! <laughs> I will suffer for my sins. Bum 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 bum. It's that easy. It's just just that easy. You just gotta have the power of Thor and Odin on your side. Um, if they destroy this, do they still get to like pop a card? I don't really want them to pop a card. How does this work? You know, a monster has to leave. Okay. Gotcha. It's all gone. Let's get it out of here, baby. Okay, we just gotta hope that last card isn't like Effect Veiler or something. Activate. Summon the Amblo. Go for this. Yo, what up? We're going to activate. We're going to activate. We're going to get... Oh, I think we just get Bufo and Try, right? And that's game. Yeah, we get Bufo. We get... Triantis. We... Um, is there anything... If that's Ash, I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Let's Bufo, let's try Antis, and then, um, it's not Ash. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and just go for extra, extra materials then. Tribute that. Oh, we've used all of them already. Oh, wait, no, we haven't. There's the third one. Okay. We'll get this. And then we can use Bufo, Pendulum, or not Pendulum, but Fusion with all of these. We're gonna make Trifathyvern. Going to summon this. Going to activate. Activate. Not to mention we've got to activate. Activating all the things. Okay, so we add one of these to hand. Uh, we place the counter its original attack. So we put it on that. And what do we grab? We've already grabbed... We grabbed the trap, I believe. Yeah. We need it. And uh, we go ahead and bring this back, just because we can. Okay. So we're at 5,900. Is this game? Oh, we can only attack this. That's not enough. Um... We can Oh, I should Oh, I should have and I forgot. Oh, we finally had the chance to do it and I haven't done this in so long. You're in the wrong zone. Come to me. Om nom 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 nom. And then we'll set a trap. 
The old yoinky sploinky strikes again! Alright, I don't want to get too cocky. I mean, we did just top deck the lightning. There's a chance they top deck the lightning. Target two labyrinth spell traps that are banished. Shuffle them into the deck. And if you control a fiend... Oh, they don't. They just shuffle into the deck. Okay. Alright. Alright. Do I win? Did I do it? Do I got... Okay, well, they've got a whole deck full of traps that remove stuff. If this is like, uh, that fucking Dogmatica trap, but it isn't! Come back from victory! Come back from behind victory! The power of Thor flows through my veins to strike when the iron is hot! Ride the light! <laughs> Get <out of> that. <coughs> I should stop yelling like that when I'm uh when I'm recovering from a cold. But we did it. Certainly did it. <laughs> Top deck of the century. 353 uh dual 12 13 14 <clears throat> versus labyrinth Um, when I top deck Lightning Storm and activate it, add some, like, cool lightning effects to the field. Maybe, like, a Thor Hammer 2? Whatever you think will be funny. <coughs> oh, that was bad. I used my I used my grungle voice and I should not have. But we're almost up to, to gold too. Absolute Garbo, they're Arby's gift cards. Alright, chat! Going into gold two, let's go second once again. The power of the Preda Plants is the power that you got. Keep on using Preda Plants and climb to the top. Climbing to the left and right, climbing through the middle. I can do the climb while I sizzle in a griddle. Sizzle, 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 yeah. My little impromptu song is kind of go off the rails really quick because I try to desperately think of rhymes. I actually like eating Arby's. I'll take some Arby's gift cards. All right, I'm going to uh, time you out for 10 minutes for saying that you like to eat Arby's. And I hope you learn your lesson. There are no Arby's enjoyers allowed here. <laughs> Arby's is is objectively bad. It's not a matter of taste. They just are bad. No. <laughs> Do we have any mods in chat who can un undo that? <laughs> I don't know how to how to undo it. Um, Arbophobia. <laughs> we live in a society. All right. We're pretty good. Yeah, the mods have a council. I'm using OBS. Okay, we're gonna start with Lightning Storm. We're gonna get rid of all the spell traps. What the hell? Boo Boo Game? Boo Boo Game? If this set card is destroyed, you can target two normal traps, set them to your field. They can be activated this turn. What did they, what did they set? Dinomicious? All right. So they've got the, they've got the Dinomicious. That's, it's not fine, but it certainly exists. Um, okay, normal summon this. If you want to banish it, you can. Go for it. What was their other back, oh, it was called by. Or, so not called, yeah, called by. Okay, uh, Bufo. 
What you think about that? If you don't stop the Bufo, I can... I, okay. Fusion summon. Oh, they can just chain it in response and just completely negate the fusion. Unless... Wait, I... Oh, this isn't a quick play. All right. Unfortunate, but I think we can still do something. Um, let's do this. Preta Planning will summon Bipliss. Oh, and they're just gonna give up. All, all right. Easy rank up. We didn't even have, I don't even know what they had. But yeah, we could have searched something and we would have searched something with Bipliss too. Uh, or yeah, we would have searched something with Preta Planning and then we can discard whatever we search, use super polymerization, make Amblo with this and that, and then we're getting two searches, and then from there we can just go off and get a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, still doing really well. I, I knew this deck, I, I mean, I knew this deck would be good. I thought we would have to like make some changes, add in like an Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, maybe switch some stuff up. I mean, there are, I'm already noticing problems with it, but people in gold are just so awful. <laughs> they're, 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 they're so bad um, that I'm just grinding up despite the fact that this list is bad. It, you know, if it, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll fix it eventually, but once we get more than like three losses, you know? <coughs> uh, let's see. 359 dual 15 versus set one pass. Um, just show me putting on the shades, then be like two minutes later, and they. Surrender. Then be like two minutes later. Show me discovering the boo boo game. Then another two minutes later. And they surrender. I think that'll be funny. Be like, all right, we're going in. It's like two minutes later, boo-boo game, and two minutes later, well, I guess that's all you need. The one card FTK, if I need to. Oh, it's Paleo Frogs. All right. 60 card Grass Paleo Frogs. I've lost to that. <coughs> We'll see, usually once you get above uh, gold three, that's when things start getting serial. I mean, you only really need one toad, you can recycle it endlessly. The weather. Whether the weather is hot or whether the weather is cold, whatever the weather, there'll always be weather until we get musty and old. How about no? Can we max see when they come back? We can. I think we want to save it. Never mind. 
We'll activate it now. Why not? Free draws. Gang's all here, chat. Uh, okay. We're gonna normal summon this. They're gonna maxi. Um, we would have to do a whole bunch of stuff. And... Honestly, so that wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, let's just not give them any more advantage. Unfortunate. Anima the painter? That won't work the way you think it will. They'll just move out of the way. Um, I think to dissuade them from making anything, we just do this now and be like, you know, if you want to build a field, you can, but I'm going to get some cards off of it. Or they have the ash. This two turn maxi minigame has found its victor. There he is. All the spell traps. Yeah, I think we're just doomed at this point, unfortunately. We drew all three of the same card, which I mean is statistically unlikely, but does happen. My only hope is that they can't negate this in, like, the damage step, right? Wow, they can tag out in the damage step? I still get the search. Oh, okay. I still get the search. <laughs> What's up, Crumblo? Yeah, that's right, you pass. All right, where's my third maxi? That ain't it. Yep, I can't activate enough stuff to get rid of all of this. Oh, okay. summon 
Um, make Verte. Get Boofy with it. Yeah, it's actually four because they can use this with this. And get out another monster. You really kind of need, um... What would I need? Like Forbidden Droplet or something? Yep. Ripperoni. There's a fourth loss. No, I don't want to become dark, thanks. Yeah, give me one second, I've gotta take some antacids. For whatever reason, that tea has made my acid reflux act up. Trying to decide what I wanna make for dinner. I think I'm just gonna have noodles. I ate a lot of noodles lately. Yes, I'm trying to move away from meat-based stuff and plants, but I don't eat very many vegetables, so mostly just bread. Pardon me. All right. Pretty good. We got Lightning Storm. We got Bufo and Chlamydia. And it's Runic. Hello, hugging my old friend. We're going to hug you again. Just, just, I just want to squeeze her. Just, just a, just, just a little fairy, you know, just a, just a, just a crunch. I'll hug you. I'll hug in with both hands. Please, no more hug. Can't beat a good sandwich. Yeah, I don't have the time to make a good sandwich. Choke, never. Would she make a squeezy noise? We're good. Um, okay. So we need to get rid of this before we can lightning storm is the problem. I think this is something, this, I mean, this has been really good when we've needed it, but it's really not good against Runic. Um, because if a card you control would be destroyed, you could banish this card you control instead. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> Pardon me. Ah, I see. So nothing I did mattered. I'm locked into fusions because of this and they just made the card that says, no, no, you can't fusion, not today. Um, let's add... I guess we add this. Yeah, we'll go for that. The trap doesn't do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, I can't fusion summon, so... Touche, salesman. Salesperson.
Uh, flu isn't in this format very much anymore. Flu's been kind of power crept and also hit on the ban list. Well, there goes one of my darling Tonias. Uh, no draws for you. chance they have the third dimensional fissure chat uh, we don't have I think I just want to use this anyway to, to, to get this off the field so maybe they have to summon another one Yo, Dav Hero, how's it going? <coughs> it activates on resolution and it banishes itself too, so you can't even use called by on it. can be only one um that might be a problem because i think like that's a dragon that's a beast okay that's still a plant wait one oh one monster of each type okay that is a problem actually that's a huge big problem everything i want to make is a plant Floodgates, my favorite. Yeah, the thing is, they have something that can stop everything else. Oh, they don't even have monsters. Yeah, now they get to draw three. Yep, I think I'll just surrender here. Yep. Skill Drain, Dimensional Barrier, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. They're just full of fun. Lose now, lose a rank. I've only lost two. Tell me a guy can't lose three duels without D ranking? Hey, I'm Japanese. Uh, konnichiwa. This lightning storm looking pretty sweet. 
That's nice. All right, uh, lightning storm. GG question mark, unless these are all artifacts. Ah, cross out designator. Do you have a lightning storm in your deck? They did not. <laughs> Ah, I see. Branded in one of those rare brick hands. Playing two Ab Lib Libitum? Is that what you normally do? Do you have evenly matched? No, because this is an OTK deck. I can't give up my battle phase. If I do, there's not very much I can do. <coughs> Some people like to play one comedy. Tron. All right. What if I said nay? What if you just had to exist out there on the field? What if I said, you've just taken the Max C challenge? I've won the mini game. Why haven't I drawn yet? Oh, they gotta finish resolving their effect. Another Ash. <coughs> All right, they've decided not to give me anything else. Well, 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 if it isn't the Predator. Hello there, MBT. I guess that makes you the alien. We're gonna be like Kramer versus Kramer over here, playing a chess match to decide who wins the the custody of like Grand Soil. Um, I think that's everything. I think I'm just dead. I think I'm just dead. This is when it's normal summoned, right? Okay. So we'll set this. We'll get him next time, everyone. <laughs> Depends on what they draw. I do have another Ash. Link Karibo, that's a good sign. Tribute one other Drytron. Okay, but I can ash this.
And now what are you gonna do? No names. Yeah, they have to discard another Drytron. Basically, they have to have a third Drytron in hand or a ritual. And I think actually they have Ben 10, so maybe I was screwed there. Nightmare Phoenix? You're gonna use your last card to pop my back row? Please do. That would be so hilarious. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, it's Lightning Storm. Okay. I'm just going to chain it. Uh, we're gonna send Biplus. Bye, please. And then we're just gonna put a Predator counter on you. Enjoy. And we get a search. Hey, how's it going? My name's Hardleg, and I'm gonna get an Orphis Scorpio from the deck. I like the hat. Thanks, Trishula. You're one of my fa- oh, whoops. You're one of my favorite Synchro monsters. I kind of fat-fingered that one. It's just easy. It just works. All right. So... We can bring back the Bipliss. Good to know. Uh, normal summon Scorpio. Scorpio effect. We're going to discard that. We're going to summon our good friend, Darlintonia Cobra. Cobra's effect is going to let us search. We're going to get fucking ultra polymerization. Because we're about to go ultra kill. Let's activate this. Let's summon Ambluo. Hi there. I'm big and purple. You may have heard of me. Let's activate this. Uh, let's, sure, we'll activate Predator Planning. Just so it stops asking. Pop, pop. Oh, that was actually a bad mistake, now that I think about it. I needed that to summon back Bifliss. Uh, it's fine. I think we have, like, game nine ways to sun, what, Sunday? We'll get this. We'll use Ultra Polymerization. But they came back. We'll use this. We'll tribute off one of these. We'll make dang old uh, Clammy Sundew. We'll use Clammy Hands to make... Um, what's this? A level 8 or higher? No, we don't have that. Uh, I think we just make this just in case. This has more attack. Uh, what would that be? 25 plus 3 plus 25. Yeah, we can do... This is more. I don't know what I'm even thinking. Let's use this and this. It's Clammy Hands. Dragostepelia. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Pendulum Scale. It's my good friend Bufo. Pendulum Scale. Now that that's there, we can use the Pendulum Scales as material. Make Tripathyvern using three cards on the field, which includes the Pendulums. Oof. Uh, we'll use this. And we'll use Bufo. Bufo gets me back that. Thank you. And this lets me put a counter on Drago Stapelia, which means this guy is about to gain a lot of attack. We'll put one on him too. Why not? 27 plus 50 hundred? That seems like a lot. That's probably enough to game, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> People really sleeping on this try guy. I tell you what. <laughs> That ability to just put counters on everything and then give Triff like a million attack, super useful. I'm surprised they haven't surrendered yet. Uh, they wanted to witness their own demise. <coughs> what does Ultra Poly do? Yeah, you can only fuse with it on the field. It costs 2,000 life points, but you get the fusion materials back 
which either allows you to fuse into bigger stuff or allows you to, um, whatchamacallit, make like Verte if you need to super poly with your opponent's stuff. All right, the shades are on again. Can we rank up into gold one? I'm going second, just according to Kaiku. They want their Arby's gift card. Some people like those. All right, they've got the baking mate. We've got Maxi, 39 cards it looks like. Or no, 41 cards. Uh-oh. Birds? Is it birds? Why do I always draw the maxi against the birds? Oh, it's not the birds. Um, we're, we have an equally bad matchup against this. Especially with this hand. I'm just now... Just now looking at this, and this is god-awful. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the shades off preemptively. I don't think we can beat this. Not unless we top deck Lightning Storm again. But I mean, what are the chances, chat? What are the chances that we could channel the power of Thor once more? Will the Lightning to the top of our deck so that we might use its might to smash our opponent's field? Deliver us from the evil of the Labyrinth and forever decimate their core being. I mean, there's a chance, you know, could happen. You're not Simo. We'll see about that. We'll see Mo about that. The cat wills it. Um, shala, give it forth the lightning storm. Okay, I'm not the protagonist after all. Not in this duel. Okay, here's Clammy Sundu. Hello. It's me. We need to fusion. Yeah, when are you gonna give us a fusion that lets me fusion with my opponent's set spell traps? Or their field spell, Konami? I need to fusion with the field spell. Okay, they see where this is going. Um, Max C. A Bufo off the top might make this work. Uh, it banishes for cost. That's unfortunate. Red reboot time. I mean, I could run red reboot, but that wouldn't really help me against the runics. Yeah, I had to dig back. That was back when I was playing, you know, uh, Ojamas. I got one draw off of Max C. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call it here. Let's just save ourselves a little time, shall we? Yeah, the problem, right, is that there's two spell trap heavy decks in the format. One sets a whole lot of traps and then activates them. The other one keeps them in their hand and just has a field spell. <coughs> Yugi, you fool! You triggered my dupe frog! Wrong, Merrick. Because the last thing that happened on the chain... <laughs> Because your frog going to the graveyard wasn't the last thing to occur in the chain. Your frog misses the timing. Judge! Well, I've got Axe, Ash, and Max C. Well, there we go. Hmm? 
Not again! Stop it. Get some help. You see, Merrick, because your card is a when you can effect, it's an optional trigger, which means it can miss the trigger if it's not the last thing to occur when a chain is resolving. Therefore, you lose the opportunity to activate such a card, rendering your effect useless and allowing my Marshmallon to grow to 8,000 attack. This format is very fun. Sure it is. You just gotta have, you know, if I want to beat the, 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 the Labyrinth runic stuff, I need to play much more competitively. Right now I'm playing a lot of silly cards that aren't uh, especially good. Who needs Preta plants in this economy? Not me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Preta plant guy. Uh, I could Lightning Storm, but there's really no reason to do so. Yep, let's just end it. Let's let them set a couple more cards, you know? Let them cook. Yeah, thanks. I'll do that. Oh, okay. Well, at least they used that now and not when I was trying to search something. Labyrinth of the castle, we've got fun and games. So they've got exactly one trap they can set from their graveyard. Uh, sure. But it came back. Reboot and Cosmic Cyclone. Oh, okay. What do you think, MBT, if you're still here? What do we side? Or what, what tech cards do we run to that, that combat both Labyrinth and Runic? We putting in uh, Twin Twisters? We putting in Cosmic Cyclones? We playing Yaksha, the spirit, to bounce the spell traps back to the hand? They just, they're like, you wanted Max C, didn't you? Like, yeah, kind of. Hey, True Nate. Baby Dragon. They, they not have another, oh yeah, I forgot that the Lord of Heavenly Sky Prison for, protected. Um, I mean, I lost this anyway. I have no, I have no Preta Plant cards. Wait, why can't, why couldn't I respond? The, oh, I can't activate monster effects in response to traps. Uh, okay. No. And I've got a Max C2. Should we remove hand traps for more? No, this is just a, um, this is an anomaly. You normally don't draw like two Ash, three Maxi, you know?
Not so fast, Kaiba. For you see, my hand contains a third Maxi. Yeah, the other thing is I'm already playing probably more Predaplant cards than most builds. <laughs> um, there's not very many good Predaplant cards. I'm playing all the good ones and some of the bad ones. Allure? Probably not. Maybe? You're not playing the graveyard kaiju one? It's not very good. No, there's you get not there's no benefit to banishing any of the Preda plants. How far do you think this will go? Um, if I add in the branded stuff, I could I could probably make it to Diamond One. It's it's going to be less a matter of skill and more a matter of time, because I'm starting in Gold Five. All right, dinosaurs. Oh. Not those dinosaurs, but those dinosaurs. I forgot that Frenzy exists now. Setin, and setin, and setin, and forgetting again. It's Dino Morphin time. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, this Maxi is just glued to my hand. Two of them in two duels in a row? That's like statistically improbable. <coughs> okay, let's pop all the... You could chain them. You could have got Rextra, what? Okay. Well, you know. These things happen from time to time. Yeah, like we know, oh, they're playing this. This is cheesy as fuck. Um, during your opponent, oh! Wait, no, it wasn't the main phase. During your opponent's main phase, pay half your life points. Fusion summon a Dino Morphia from your extra deck using one monster from your deck and one monster from your extra deck. Then when your opponent activates a card or effect while your life points are 2,000 or less, you can banish this, you take no effect damage. Yeah, they could have. they could have activated that and summoned uh, this guy. Your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters you control that have attack greater than or equal to your life points. Maybe they had anti-spell. Who can say? Uh, did I already have 15 wins or did I forget to put that in there? Consider these dinos extinct. All right, we've got an ash. That does something. The rest of these are not good. Oh, now we go up against this. There's so many good times when they, when you know I would have had a great hand against the Sword Souls, and now they go at the Darling Tonia and two Soricia. Just get a lot of weird hands. Now, statistically, you're unlikely to open with, you know, two copies of the same card just in general. Uh, yeah, I guess we stop that. So it's weird, the last three duels we've opened with doubles of stuff.
playing pure Preta plants, uh, mostly. We've got like stuff in the extra deck that's not a Preta plant. Guardian Chimera. Uh, Mud Dragon. I think we pretty much have to open with like Super Poly or we're fucked. And even then, I'm not sure if Super Poly does anything against this. Because this is two monsters with the same attribute and different types. And everything is going to be Worm. <coughs> and different attributes. Barone. Ouch. Yeah, I think I'm boned, unfortunately. Um. What was that again? It was two monsters with different attribute, with the same attribute, but different types. Wind, light, earth. Um, <coughs> what is this? A dark monster whose level is eight or higher. We don't have that. This needs to be monsters on the field. This needs to be darks. That's pendulums. That needs to be a dark monster. Uh, two dark monsters, except for tokens. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think we're just fucking screwed. Um, and I can't super poly this. Yeah, we'll just set. We'll set this to. Not with any of your monsters. They have to be dark. Or they have to be fusion monsters. And this can only use stuff on the field. So I can't use the cards in my hand. Are there any generic fusions? Not really. We've looked up most of them. There's one that's like in the TCG, but it's not out here yet. <coughs> and yeah, I think this is going to be the last duel just of the coughs getting worth the more I talk. Yeah, I forget what's Garuda's summoning condition again, or what's its material? Same type and attribute with different names. Uh, that wouldn't work here. Well, it would work against these two. Behold, a plant! <coughs> Fuck! I've been negated! My life is forfeit.
Aha, but it's not once per turn. You can't negate this one, Simon. <laughs> Defense mode. Hide behind the shrubbery. Target one other effect monster and get its effects on the field. I don't know how this works. Does it count as being on the field when it's already marked for destruction? Yes. But I still get the search. Um. I mean, it doesn't do me any good. I think Bufo's my only hope. Help me, Bufo. You're my only hope. <coughs> I don't think you're ready for this toad. I don't think you're ready for this toad. I don't think you're ready for this. Cause this toad is too boofalicious for you, babe. You're only prolonging your suffering. Today went pretty well. It did. Huh? Gee, Billy, how come you get two darling Tonya Cobras? Nonsense. I played two, so this won't happen. All right. Boofalicula. Will he be able to lick your boofala? I guess we'll find out. Um, whatever I do, I'm getting fucking negated, so it doesn't fucking matter, but I can try. Behold, the nadir of my suffering. This is level 7 too, so I can't even banish anything. This at any point, yeah. With a level less than or equal to this monsters, yep, they're all higher. All right, battle phase. Uh, battle phase. Battle phase. I will not go quietly into the night. I will raise my attack by twenty five hundred. You could banish yourself. I could. I could do that. But why? They really thunked about that one. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate you letting my kid get in for a little bit of damage. You know, his self-esteem hasn't been that high lately. Yo, Chimera based. Give me that hat. No, it's mine. You can have one of the others off of the rack. Like, perhaps, the hard leg style hat with its own little logo that's see through because of the green screen, but normally it's green. You can buy that now with the merch link down below. Okay, I do think we need to boof this up a little bit. We're starting to get some losses in here. We'll save that for next time. For now, I think I'm done. Not sure exactly what we need to do because I feel like, you know, those, those last duels, every single one of them was like, yeah, we open with three of a kind or we open with like two Ash, three Maxi and no Predaplants. Um, maybe we bump this down 
Maybe we bump this down and we can add in two more things. I'm not sure what we add in because again, every print plant card is garbage. Uh, we could add in more lone fires. That might uh, boost consistency a little bit. Do you only play one weed? Which one's a weed? Because they all look like weed. Want to duel? N no, I just, I'm leaving. More starters? Perhaps. But yeah, I'm done for now. Oh wait, I, I got another mission. Is it because I destroyed cards? I did. We did it, chat. We did it together. Together forever, no matter how far. Those last, yeah, it's, it's what I get for staying up late. I mean, we started a little late, so it's, it's fine though. And DP, I see, I see. Let's see who else is streaming Master Duel. Well, first of all, chat, I just gotta say. Where is it at? Come on, OBS, I believe in you. Um, That ain't it. That's just another Master Duel. There we go. Look at that, chat. Look at it in all its brilliance. We are the number one streamer on Master Duel. Give yourselves a round of applause. You helped make me the most popular streamer at my, this specific time on this day in this platform. I wouldn't be here without you, and I appreciate all the help. Uh, I'll take this opportunity, as I often do, to say hello if you're new here, if you're just joining in because we're popular. You saw someone with a top hat streaming, you're like, I'd like, to, I'd like to check that out. My name is Hardleg Joe, if and you didn't know. I wear shirts that the green screen doesn't like, and a top hat, and I play Yu-Gi-Oh! mostly. Uh, every Tuesday and Thursday I stream, you can find me doing Master Duel. Uh, and I, I stream Master Duel mostly because of my YouTube. You can see the link up there. Some nice people will probably post it in the chat as well. It's youtube.com slash hardleggaming. And I have a monthly series that I call Ladder Climb. Every month I climb the Master Duel ladder with a different rogue deck as picked by my patrons. And then we, at the end of the month, take all the streams where I did that, compile them together, cut out the, the, the best bits, and we make a show that's like two hours long. I've done 11 of them at this point. The 12th one will be out, um, what would it be? Saturday. Saturday, you can watch the, the 12th episode on Galaxy Eyes. So if you, if you like watching this and you wish there were less downtime, you just want to see me playing neat, fun decks, then, uh, then you can go check that out. I personally also like this too. What is this? Oh yeah, I've also got a politics channel. You want to hear me talk about serious topics that also exists galaxy eyes yeah it's not not the best maybe start with the umi control one maybe go check out the the ojama one that was funny so yeah if you like that that that, that exists there's merch down below and it, oh i completely forgot i have these sitting here the whole time because i just got some um <coughs> I just got some new merch in. We got like little hard leg hoodies, little simple ones. Just got the uh, the logo on there. Uh, we've got a nice like jacket, kind of the same deal, but black with like the hard leg green. We'll take that sticker on there too. Just a nice little thin sort of zip up hoodie. And again, the green because of the green screen. We've got that. We've got a hard leg tumblers. We've got hard leg hats. We've got hard leg socks to cover up your hard legs. Uh, and all that's down below. Best Yu-Gi-Oh game? Uh, the, the Master Duel? That's probably the best one. Most popular streamer, late at night, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll take what I can get. I'm, I'm just happy to do stuff. But yeah, enough about that. Let's find someone to raid, shall we?